Ah, ¿qué es eso? Well, Dan, where are we at here? Well, Greg said somewhat spiraling. We're able to find, uh, Say that again? It's been spiraling. We were able to find that. They found that book in service that allowed this. Greg just now told you spiraling or what? No. Oh, no. No, just overall. Oh. Overall, the investigation is spiraling. Found the book. They found the audit monster book. You want to just wait till they come in? It would be easier than. No, I agree. Do you know they never, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys are even wanting to use McAvoy, but they've never sent him a contract. He's, let me tell you what happened, just so you know. I mean, he's writing a great report. I don't know if he needed it. I don't know what's going on here right now. I'm just like lost because nobody keeps in touch with me. But they sent him a, an email from Paul, said, I'd like a resume. He sent him a great resume, a bachelor of science degree, all he's done, everything he's done, written books, he teaches, he's done this kind of research before, all this stuff. He's never heard anything, and yet he's worked almost 100 hours now putting together like 8,000 hand histories that are all... Yeah, but, he's, but he walked out on me yesterday. He said, Russ, they haven't called me back. I've been working three weeks. They haven't sent me any contract. They haven't communicated. They haven't done anything. So I'm just letting you know. He said, I'm going away for 10 days. I'm going to go... He works for Poker Stars. It'd be a great result anyway. A guy that works for Poker Stars, he gives you a good result. But he's going away, so he said, you tell me when I come back if they want me or not. He said, because they have to send a resume to uh, the Mohawks. We'll get in there waiting for their approval. Okay. But I think we're going to need it before. At least uh, eliminate some of the exceptions. You know, you know, they have to be tweaked up somewhat. But at times that they discovered that it's actually the audit monster in use uh, they report to be uh, you know, acknowledged that certain parts of the session were uh, more aggressive or more. I think the way he's doing the report is he does like the whole 10,000 hand history and he tells you that plays short-handed, late, two and three-handed, has to play, plays a lot of hands because it's short-handed, it's two-handed, three-handed. Plays real aggressive. Uh, has never thrown away in 10,000 hands. Has never thrown away two kings against two aces, two queens against two anything, two jacks, two tens. Never has thrown away set over set. Has never thrown away flush against flush. Has never, has never thrown anything away. Is very aggressive. So, you know, there's, there's good, there's bad. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, what's up, bud? Good. I'm in Portland right now. Yes. Oh, let me oh let me call right now. I gotta make that call back there and I'll get a hold of him. He's, he's supposed to call me later. Let me make that call right now. Oh well let me let me make that call and I'll call you back. Okay. What's up? Okay, so we have what is your press? Oh. We have uh Cokes and Diet Pepsi and Bobby Khan. Okay, so so I'll try to do the to the to what my uh, what my perspective is on kind of where things where things are, what's been done, who knows what, that kind of thing. And you can correct whatever is whatever's not right to make sure we're on the same page and then add whatever new stuff that's happened. So um, I explained to Russ and Sandy that that very few people know exactly what's going on. That the business doesn't know. 
and and that the business is you know reacting to information and doing what you. But are there people in the business that'll talk like they did at AP, and that's what started the whole process? Anything's possible, but but the guy that's 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 running the investigation on their side is very concerned about that, and has done you know what you know reasonable steps to to minimize information that's rolling around, not have lots of people looking at things, lock down accounts so that people can't send out stuff with IP addresses and that kind of stuff in it. So, I mean, anything's possible, but I don't know if you have any additional comments there. I mean, they're, they're, they're doing better than the ones. I mean, they, they take put controls in place to one there from the last one. So, so the average customer service rep can't run any accounts. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're trying to take steps to, to, to have a very small group that is looking at stuff. Now, that still means there's a small group. And URI has been used extensively to, I mean, he's got the data. So it would make perfect sense the business calls URI, right? I need this, I need that. What about these accounts, that? I mean, you know, whatever. What about these IPs, et cetera? And URI's not stupid. So, you know, he doesn't know what's going on, but he's not dumb. And yeah, I don't know if he follows the forums. You might know that kind of stuff better. So the common, but even if he's not following the forums, he, obviously he's probably poking around and looking at stuff and connecting dots. So Russ, Russ thinks sidebar. Russ thinks that it maybe wasn't Jim Ryan that called. That called I just talked to Tony. It's one of the two. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. So <laughs> I think it was Yuri. It was Yuri? I think maybe. Because Dan, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, Ryan. That doesn't make sense. The only person I can think that would know would be Cook. Well, Yuri wouldn't know. But Yuri he would not know who owns the blackjack. It's not blackjack, it's poker. No, but Yuri wouldn't know who the old software is. So I wouldn't be talking to Jim and Jim and Jim. Well, whatever. It's, this is really, I mean, we should something to come back to. I'm just saying that we might have a big problem with, you know, obviously, if, if, if Yuri did that, this is like a fucking unbelievable one. Separate discussion. We need to go. So tell me what the yeah, cookie was called. Probably didn't know, because I didn't know about it. There's nothing involved in that. There's nothing to work? Nothing to work with it involves talking to so, the other person well, talks to this person, case. this person knew that we were going to California to talk to him about interstate poker. I don't understand why you're in that. But it doesn't matter. Can we, let's come back to that. Yeah. That's just more of a, that's a question. Yeah. Well, whatever that conversation was, and that's what, what I found disturbing as the information was related to me. I was not part of the discussion. So I'm going to have to talk to uh, Whatever the, the, whoever the person was, they were acting in, in real time. Right. They knew we had a meeting the next day in California. And they said specifically, Russ Hamilton won't get licensed. There's 20 million reasons why. There's 20 million reasons why. Yeah, he needs to hear that. Okay. The person said there's 20 million reasons why he won't get licensed. It'll all come out very shortly. That's exactly what the person said. So it was it, it was really strange because by there, there are only nobody that knows the, the numbers. I haven't told. Could be yours. Jim Ryan. Jim Ryan. No. The reason other than early on, I I gave him some idea of the magnitude. The reason no, this was far less than it turned out to be. The reason this is just important that there's somebody that is saying that it's done that. Now, let's define who it is just for argument's sake. Let's go through a, through a count. There are really four people in the world that knew that we had a meeting that could have communicated the information back in the way it came to Tony. Well, that's not true. We no. sent an email to Jim Ryan and to Greg, but we don't know who Jim Ryan told. You didn't know where the meeting was, did you? No, but that doesn't matter. They didn't say to, okay, they well, didn't say to Tony, we know you're going tomorrow. Well, I, I, I'm not sure. We'll go back and dig it up. But can we, can we, no, I think I sure. saw that email. Jim sent it to me and I said it. So you see, he sent the email off. And I went back to Jim and I just said, look, Russ is right. You've got to talk to him. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Oh. So, so if there, obviously, whoever did that, we got to figure it well, out. Tony's remark was, uh, this is why I believe it was Jim Ryan. Tony's remark was, maybe you're supposed to get back to this person and use them. But we were going to anyway. 
Okay. So let's on this issue, I want to make a note of it and and come back at the end. So you have to whoever whoever did this find out deal with it appropriately. Obviously, we can't have them. The peer people that are out there talking about it. But I, I just don't. Can, so can we get back and yeah, yeah. So so the business is independently doing all the things that you would expect them to do, and they they are. You know, they responded to this this complaint thinking it was nothing. Saw some big numbers. They then went to the KGC because of what has happened with the AP thing and said, okay, well, this is this is going to take some time and don't come barging in here and give us some time. And I don't know how much they asked for, but you know, I don't know what's reasonable to expect. But basically, bought themselves a, a month or two. You know how much time? I think they said weeks. It's going to take weeks to go. So. And then they're doing the things that I said at once. So I explained at lunch that you know the business is looking at what, what it can do to make associated screen accounts. If you actually want the end results, I talked to Dan before you came in. If you actually want them from Tom on these five accounts and you want reports, it's going to take three months. It's a long process. You can't do it. More, it's, not, it's not a program that you hit a computer and it runs through it. Yeah, I understand. So, so it's not a few weeks, guys. It's three months to go through those. He spent three weeks relentlessly doing the one and he's just about finished with the right. one. So the original the original uh, hope was that you know have the qualitative thing done that Tom is doing and then have a mathematical thing done. And you know, best case they both say it's just it's 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 not clear. Worst case they're conflicted, but at least you have an argument to say it's not clear and how can you pay back if it's not clear and move on. Um, so that was the going in assumption. You need to make a note, Dan, that apparently this Tom guy is not engaged anymore and has walked away. And no, I, I, I heard that. Okay. So, uh, so they're continuing to look through all this stuff. And my perspective, based on that, the increase of information that's coming in, in, uh, from, from our business and our system, is that this is, this is taking a little bit of a different track now. Not let's wait for the stuff to come back, but okay, we're, we're leaping to the conclusion that we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to pay, you know, some percentage of this back. So now the question is how to bound it. That's my perspective on, you know, based on the kinds of questions that are coming, um, which might explain why de-emphasizing the qualitative stuff if they think like it doesn't matter. I don't know. So, so, so Dan, maybe you can. Yeah, I know what they did is they discovered this uh, code, the server code that allowed uh, viewing of the whole car rise to like Yuri. At least he made it seem. Uh, who knows exactly. Uh, so he's closed that apparently. Uh, then, as a result of discovering that, they were able to find the name of the audit monster, and now they're able to. Stop. They've got uh, evidence that uh, uh, that look at certain percentages on these accounts, which they say are damning, so which is extraordinarily high, higher than any other account, and uh, that they've looked at. And it's a percentage which is expected to be between 10 percent for a good player. And, uh, they've seen the money flows, which are very unusual, number of account name changes. Uh, they've seen the fact that, like, Barney was used to withdraw tons of money. They've seen, uh, apparently, uh, uh, oh, one of those poor guys. No, maybe Freddie's Freddie withdrawn a penny. Maybe he had deed. Freddie Somebody, deed. Yeah, deed. So those people have, you know, potential tax liabilities. Uh, so these are now innocent people who have uh, uh, they, are they don't have tax liabilities. I claim the tax on my taxes. So you claim the winning tax? I claim 5.2 million, 5 .2 million on internet poker. So anyway, uh, I mean, I, I guess everybody's just pretty shocked. This thing went on. They, 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 the business sort of has come to the conclusion that uh, uh, I might have even known about this. Uh, Jim may have known about it. Great. Things are just so damning. The transfers that are involved in the amount of dollars. I believe that the company went public and didn't know about it. Eventually, they're now looking at their, what their rights are and what they can do. The actual outcome of this thing is that they try to undo the deal and split the business act and just come out with the whole thing. You know, they're unfortunate, you know, this is a business with hundreds of people. These are good people. These are people who are able to cheat. So, and they, they are insisting on, you know, Paul is not, does not want to be involved in the business, but it's the right thing. And, uh, so, you know, essentially, I think what's happened here is that uh, I've assisted, and uh, I own about that. The business never would have gone public. People like Jim, of course, wouldn't have gotten involved. I never would have gotten involved. 
I mean, I went back, I spent a year, and this is just a personal note, I spent a year and a half of my life in Canada. And what was it for? It was to get $23 million to you guys at IPO. And then you went on, and you cheated. You took $16 million from players. So you took $40 million out of this thing. And here I was working for Greg, who took a couple million dollars out. Basically, I mean, I just feel, and I, this is just a personal thing, I've got to separate myself from it, but I just feel like there's absolutely no way that I would have gotten involved in it. And I mean, if somebody like Sam is involved with you, he knew that $18 million had been stolen off the side. I got him. I mean, really? it's just... I have no idea anyone right. stolen off the side. And, uh, these, and, and there had to be more conspiracy. For you to just say that these people take millions off the site for me, they must have known something was going on. Which period are you talking about, Dan, here? Just, they've identified 14 accounts, essentially. Which period of time are you talking about here? Where did it go back to? They haven't gone back too far, which is good. They've only gone back to a certain period prior to Oracle. So uh, we're talking 2005. They haven't gone So this is before. Jim Ryan's time period when he was in there? Yeah, the most part. Well, a lot of it was not was was given to players to play tournaments to stake them to. That's fine. Okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're right. It doesn't matter. I mean, I look on this list here. First guy on the list. He's one of the best poker players in the world. Prelob Friedman. Prelob Friedman has never been involved in this in my life. So you're so you're way out of line already. You took 360 G's from him. Oh, oh, took three. Okay, okay, I didn't know what you're talking about. Yeah, she was involved with us. She was on okay. the other side of the table. Okay. And this is the loss list. This is the loss list. And I see all the pros on here. You know what this, I mean, you know better than anybody. I mean, we're all destroyed. All our reputations are destroyed when this thing comes out. Uh, Does it have to come out, then? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a bit of a, I mean, Greg and I don't want it to come out, obviously. Jim doesn't know the extent of it. When he knows the extent of it, he won't want to come out and he'll get scared. He doesn't know. You know, he doesn't know why that, uh, uh, he doesn't know many details at all other than that. There's but isn't there a way to go to Norton up here? Like you were talking today? Yeah, oh no, Joe is a reasonable man. But uh, he, or I don't think he doesn't know the extent of it. Uh, Who's driving the investigation? Paul, really. Paul is all right. He's been put in charge of it, sort of the chief operating officer to Joe Lord. Visible, poor sort of person who's running the business. He's basically the CEO. And he Hill knows the numbers. Hill doesn't know. Hill and Scott don't know as much. Scott is really distant now from the company. Hill stays involved, so he knows. Saul knows that he has an accountant who he says is an extremely trusted guy who's in the office named Ivan. Uh, he has some idea. He doesn't know the details of where the money is coming from, but he's where it is to try to compile and mitigate the potential damage. Uh, but uh, Yuri, I think, knows. Now, if Yuri knows, I would imagine it's probably one product we need is has some idea. But if he doesn't, Yuri's pretty good about that. Uh, Cookie. What's his Cookie is our conduit with Joe. Cookie's in charge of the Joe relationship. Discussions that Paul has had with Joe. Cookie was actually had helpful since he's the one who's told... Who said, who, who, who said that? Cookie? Cookie. So he's, he's managed to help push off the KGC with Joe. They're a good force for us, in the sense that I think they can go off the KGC. Uh, Joe just doesn't want anything, you know, his idea. The ideal thing would be if we call Joe and have some urban. The problem is, is now that they found the loop. Paul has told Joe that he's closed. That time he didn't go into the as far as I know. He hasn't gone into the details of how it's been accessed. Now, using the iOvation logs, you can actually see the times when uh, Audit Monster was, uh, or at least on, I don't know if it was used. Uh, you know, one of the top guys on here, the, the person who's screaming for blood is this uh, trampoline. Trampoline. Uh, trampoline was taken for 177 Gs. Oh, Linda Bosco? Don't know it. No one? Uh, but you look at the list and the thing. I mean, it's just, uh, we see everybody that, uh, Lyle Merman's on here. Lyle uh, Merman's way up here, actually. Uh, somebody not on. So, uh, Robert Williamson, he's a big loser. 
it's like the who's who of poker. These guys, you know, you look at their accounts, like half of them are closed or totally empty right on the side, and part of them know they got ripped off and stopped playing. And frankly, it's just a tragedy. Okay. You know, it's just, it's just terrible. Give me an idea of a settlement process that you can get the numbers. Just the, ideal thing, the, the ideal thing would be is if we, at this point, it seems like they know that the automobile thing deal scenario and I've been pushing Greg to come out and say, yes, the thing was used, but it was only not come out with any names. It may have to come out with a line like it was a former consultant to the company that had access. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing, though, is trying to limit this thing. It's so big, uh, saying it's like one of the biggest thefts ever. Okay. I know, like, they have, uh, you know, these shows on the TV and stuff. Where they do the kind of guy who tries to steal $100 mm -hmm. from a blackjack game, right? Well, no, they have serious money, you know. It's not broken into casinos and stolen by a million dollars. This money is like one of the biggest crime frauds ever. So, uh, and the only, the only people who I think know the true extent of this thing, which scares me, if somebody told Tony, first of all, it's not incorrect, but the only people who have an idea of this number are probably Scott, so I haven't directly built my emails. Uh, even in theory, they have added it up, I guess. That would gone to my other lawyers. I was Does Cookie know this? He doesn't remember. Okay. Not even close. No, when I was Cookie, I think, believed, initially he believed it was nothing. Now he think he, I think he believes it's I tried. We tried not to alarm or tell Joe the full number. I think he's scared. He's like personally liable for the sole proprietorship of my Joe. You know, I mean, he's right on that. So, I mean, it affects him. Uh, what they, I think what the other group has started to think about is, my God, you know, how do we preserve so Why would this be any different than preserving Absolute and UB if they just preserved AP for the same thing? It's only the power number that's involved. They're helping out with it. But you're saying the number is lower, you think? What I'm, what I'm saying, this, is, this gets back to your question, the business is, you know, does the business want to do the right thing? Yes. To, you know, is, the, is the business willing to look for any reasonable way to, to limit this? Absolutely. So if there are ways to, to, to based on that, based on winning percentages, based on, based on you know, correlation between evaluation data, whatever, if there's a way to say, you know, here's a significant percentage of it that, that, that the business can say we're confident, there's no cheating involved, but here's some percentage that we don't know, so, okay, we're going to reimburse players for they're willing to do that. Is that a fair statement? Absolutely. So who well, wants to do anything they can to try to lower the So time. it's, you know, I mean, I don't know what you want to call that. It's, it's something in between. It's, it's, not, it's not taking the ultra high road. It's not saying, fuck, I'm not going to do anything. It's something in between. But the point is they're, they're interested in coming up with reasonable arguments to minimize it. So this and that's a big part of what Iovation is, is doing right now. But Iovation really just means myself and, and, and I'm having Tom Williams do some reports and stuff, so I just don't want people. Anything that Tom probably would scout is we must assume we'll go to Hill, but that's probably okay. Uh, you know, we, we're, we, to date, we've been totally open with those guys. That'd be nice. Right now, there, see, if there is this dimension, I think, you know, because a couple times they've asked me directly, come on, man, you have to know. Well, I, I just yeah. want to address this. And yeah. looking back at it, there were instances, you know, that in our company's capsule, which we're here and looking back at, like when all these transfers have to be I just remember Gail like saying, you know, don't even look at the transfer to Russ. Don't want to know what's going on there. Maybe it was just to protect, or maybe it was because they knew. I don't know. Right? Like, you know, if you go through something like this, you just don't know. What but let's just go back and face the process. process. Seems from everything that, that I've heard so far, not having this blow up or aligned. Because there's no one other than somebody who was out the atlas that wants to see this go public. Even that person is no way. We do not want to see it go public because they want money, not a lot of money back. Right. So what is the procedure to get more formally agreed to then the process to solve the problem? But the magnitude drive drive as I'm asking is how do we make people's interests stick together so that they can come up with a few problem solving solutions? You no, know, and it's something we, I mean, the first thing is, is we need to, but you spoke to him and he didn't deny making that all, but certainly we have to get to all these people again and emphasize we're talking about this with everybody. Everybody's aware that 
probably be completely quiet. I think I, th I think your question is a little different. I think your question is two. I mean, at least the way I think about this, there's two kind of separate and somewhat independent things going on. There's the other than that list. You know, everyone interested in minimizing whatever the action is underway and 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 uh, uh, lots and lots of time and energy. You know, trying to get Then there is the you know. Not wanting to, not want, again, that was decided, not wanting this to blow up and, and what's happening there. And that's what I want to talk about. That's, that's the other thing I want to talk about. Because the, the other thing's more just The list that's there is probably all accurate. But the list of people that have complained is very small. Right. It doesn't have to go back as far as you're going back to. I don't know what you're doing or what you have to do. Yeah. So the worry, so. What they've done is uh, essentially they, they've looked at accounts that are very obvious. Essentially, I think 10 that are public account forms mentioned. I, I, they have a total number of 14 that they've looked at. 14 player accounts? Yeah. Okay. Accounts that they've used the audit monster. Okay. Right. So, so, so there's a process to minimize whatever it costs. Well, that's, the, separate, that's the damage mitigation process. Right. Okay. Which, which we can talk about just to understand it, but it's really more informational and it's, again, other than that group, everybody's on the same page with, with minimize. But then there's the keep this from being a big story. That's And that's, that's, the, the, that's the main reason for, for wanting to talk today is what's, you know, what's, what's the attitude of, of folks involved. And so this is what I was mentioning at lunch is clearly I sure as hell don't want this to become, you know, big issue. Obviously, Russ doesn't. Dan doesn't. Jim does. So, but ultimately, the, the it does, person who is... Even if it's an issue, it's a scandal. And just to keep in it is... Scandals, they come over. Look what AP right. did. They grow as soon as the right. scandal's over. So, I mean, even announcing scandal, the way is to come out with a message that works. I think we could do that. So so what I want so to get an update on... Without revealing who, who it is, without... What you've got to do, Dan, is not reveal who it is. Because if you reveal who it is, then it just blows up everything and everybody. Oh, I agree. Completely. I agree. None of us want it. So you said something when you walked in here that, that scared the shit out of me about, about Joe Norton's attitude. And so let's talk about that. Well, Joe, and, Joe is a very proud guy. You know, honor is critical. He doesn't think there's anything wrong. I mean, he just doesn't feel like, even though he's in this weird situation where the U.S. thinks that he doesn't think that there's anything wrong, the most important big issue is honor. So, uh, so he got his number down to a number, and the number was paid back, and Norton's group or something got paid something. Well, Joe doesn't need to be paid, but that KG Gaming Commission. Something you were talking about? Joe will need to be satisfied with the players that were affected were... Uh, some explanation on uh, how it happened. I think we'll be able to deal with them. I don't. I just think that I. Uh, uh, I do think they'll think that a piece of it is accountability. They're, they're saying that this should all be on Nick Scapps' shoulders, and frankly, I agree that Nick Scapps should pay a lot. Just because they have the one for the game, that's uh, the real reason. Uh, but, uh, uh, but for money that was directly taken out, I like withdrawn my bond. I mean, what the heck? What happened? To that? Just, uh, I mean, this thing is sort of that I think used as your biggie thing. Okay. We've discussed that, Greg. Can you tell you? Or I can tell you. I mean, it's real obvious. What I mean, some of it was used for players on the site, which still you can go back and look. Crazy Canuck it staked UB players. Freddie D when he was part of it until you guys got rid of him. All that. So there was a lot of things that got used for for sending players to a river for your tournament. Uh, in Europe, well, let's let's just leave it at that. Um, it got used for a, a lot of the money got taken out for put into the other company and did get used for that. You're right. Uh, but it, you know, frankly, it doesn't. Uh, who was Montour's knowledge list? None, zero. Not until last night. I talked to him for the first time, the very first time. But there, you had told me that there were times that you. That was nothing. Yeah, that was nothing. Munster had no knowledge of this at all. So I don't, Munster should not even be brought into this. He had no knowledge at all. Nothing. So, I mean, I want to talk about is what are the options for going to Joe and saying the, 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 the minimizing the damage piece, because at this point that seems kind of 
trivial and amusing and just a lot of work. Um, and and uh, uh, making sure as few people as possible know all that's a little trickier, but also just work. So then there's going to be, I think, a decent story. This is exactly what happened. We, you know, we know precisely what happened. It was closed. This can't happen again. Um, you know, here's the people impacted, and and it's going back, right? So now, how do we? What, what are the options for, for for paying it back to create incentive for this Joe guy to say, hey, we don't disclose this because there's a chance of getting this thing back. So what are those options? So one option was I wanted to go through that list and see if are there individuals on that list, regardless of, of what of what it turns out to be, right? That that list adds up to some big number, which we're trying to minimize, right? So the amounts aside, because the amounts might be different, depending how you slice it, it's possible that for an individual person the amount's actually more. Right? But overall, the overall number goes down if you start limiting it. But anyway, so the, the, the amounts aside, are there individuals on that list that for whatever reason you say the business shouldn't pay that? If you want me to look at the list, sure. Sure. I absolutely yeah, it's something to control that. Let me just take a look at the list. But if they were to uh, come to the business and say, pay me, are you talking about people here that, that I think that would even have any idea at all? No, I'm saying that, that, that the, how do I say this? The business, the business. Is this like all the same sheet we're all looking at here? Oh, okay. The business says, if we. Do you want me to check names of these five people I think should be reimbursed here? No. Is that better? I want you to see if there's anyone on that list that you say the business should not pay this person for whatever reason. Either because uh, you, you, you personally say that, hey, they're not coming back, and if they do, I'll deal with it. Because you just There's a lot of these on here, whether you guys believe it or not, that were played and won without ever using that thing. A lot of times. And, and, right. and so... No, and that's a helpful thing, because hopefully we can... So, for, so first of all, that. So, so I know that, and that's a lot of the, the work that I'm doing, is to try to line up of the, you know, there's thousands of play sessions involved, right? So what I'm trying to do is exclude play sessions that there was no audit tool being used. That's what there was, I was doing. There was a six-month period through there where it didn't even work, and Travis just got it working. And I told you guys in Costa Rica how to repair the way to stop it. And I'm not sure if they did, but about four months ago, it quit. So I would assume that that's what they did. I don't, I don't think you think it quit? Well, I don't know, but the code wasn't removed until recently. Not the code. It's just it wouldn't it all you had to do is you forced them to take an upgrade. If they, if they didn't, if they weren't oh, forced to oh, take okay. an upgrade, which I told them in Costa Rica. So I don't know about this. But, but my, my point here is, look, the business, regardless of whether someone's... Who shouldn't get paid back is what you're saying. Yeah, because of it, either a personal relationship or, or for whatever reason, you just know that... Yeah, is this the customer balance, available customer balance right here? I don't. I don't know. Just look at the... Yeah, thing. that happens to just be what their balance was as of that date. That's what, how much money they have in the UBA account. This is what they have over here. Yeah. Third column. Is so what you want me to say... What like is, like somebody like, let's say that... Uh, let me, let me put it a different guy. way. If the, right. if the business thinks that it needs to reimburse, pick a number. Four million bucks, right? Mm -hmm. But you say, for whatever reason, I, Russ, take responsibility for that person, that person, that person, that person, for whatever reason. Because you know them, personal relationship, because you're going to take care of a different way, whatever. But then that's a liability that the business doesn't have to take care of, and that reduces their liability. That's the same thing as giving them money. Follow me? So, no. Okay. Let's, let's, say, let's, say, like, let's say, like, Fred David. I, got it. I understand what you're saying. Like, Fred David's on this list? But if he were, you would say, geez, take him off the take list. Take him off the list, list I'll talk to him. If he Freddie Deeb is on the list, pal. Freddie Deeb is on the list. So Freddie Deeb is on the list here for what? $52,000. For losing? Yes. Yeah. Freddie Deeb lost money to me? That's what it says. I would lose money to Freddie Deeb when I go in here just to give him money to play with. It's got, it's got to be that, impossible. Right. But so listen, to what, so listen to what this is. This isn't every session ever played with those players. This is the sessions that are suspicious, that, are, that they suspect cheating was involved. Right? So, so it's not every session ever played. But if, yeah, it's in that scenario where you may have dumped chips to them. Maybe it's a lot of application errors. Is this just a, just a buy-off, a big sort, as opposed to... What do you mean by duplication? 
I mean, there might be some mm -hmm. some names, but that's just a player has multiple accounts. That would mean a player has multiple accounts. Okay. It's good if they have reading glasses. Sorry. Right. Nobody. Nobody Nobody have reading glasses? Just the ones I'm wearing. The okay. Do I have to mark these now, or do I? I'm just, you know, there's a couple of ways to do this. I mean, we could literally go. It's mainly well, but just like Wild Berman. Wild Berman's never going to complain about anything. Freddie Davies never going to complain about anything. So I can mean, go through and check those right off the bat. And so, what? Just for sake of discussion, if 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 we said if the business says to Joe, hey, uh, Travis or whatever the story is, is going to personally take responsibility for Freddie Davies. So therefore, that's that, that's. If, if the business was going to have to pay him 50000 and and now they don't, that's like getting 50000 cash, right? Well, just for sake of discussion, what happens if Freddie Deep comes back in a year and says, give me money? What should the business say? Why would, the business say why would Freddie Deep come back to you and say in a year? He would come know. back and say he thinks he got cheated or something? Yeah. Okay. That's what you're saying. So in that scenario, we'd just be like, no, we're not it? getting paid. It's beat for us. Have to deal with it. So there might be no one on this list. So is it, I mean, the, the, these numbers that you're talking about here, like, let's, let's just look at, say, uh, Mahatma, okay? This 360000 does that mean he lost it to my account or he lost it in the game I was in? Lost it to you. So, yeah, so let's back up and talk about what these numbers are. So, Sandy, you'll, you, you, I want you to, to explain this so that you're, you're, the, like you're the numbers guy. Well, okay. But I don't what, the business is, what the business is doing is they're trying to minimize whatever this potential liability is. So if they suspect me of cheating and Dan loses money to you at the table, that doesn't count. What they're, they're only looking at, at, in the hands played throughout a session, net amounts that move between that player and others. So if Dan lost to Sandy, that doesn't count. They're only looking at money. So if, that if you're Mahatma, and I'm Neo Neo. And that's Sandy and that's Dan. I'll be on it. I'm not even playing. I'm just no, no, you're you're Dan and you're Sandy and you're you're um, Mahatma. Right. I'm Neo Neo and we're playing. And he beat you for a hundred thousand in this session. That, that's not held against you. So it's only what I beat you for. Right, correct. But it doesn't show that I lost to these well, other yes, two. Yes, this is the net. This is so the if there's a session, so let me let me So start. suppose Mahatma shows three hundred thousand. That means, look, let me just say this a different way. Yeah, that's exactly right. Here, here's... It's possible that you actually need there's, to me. Yeah, and look, it's not. there are cases where there are losses when they know. Say that again, now. There are cases where Neil Neil lost money in a session. Yeah. And they know that the audit tool was being used. They want to consider that because that lowers their liability okay. because that player lost money back to, 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 to Okay. Play. When there's a win, it's the they're only looking at the net win for the Neo Neo account. So if 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 the uh, if Neo Neo broke even in a play session and during that session where in fact that audit account was watching, this player lost fifty thousand to that player, that doesn't count. It's so only a place where it can be a um, um, uh, uh, where it can be a multiplier it is your neo neo. Okay, let's say you lose fifty thousand to Greg, win fifty thousand from me. Mm -hmm. and those are the only times that we play with against you. Mm -hmm. Whole lives. Yeah. In that the scenario, counts with minus exactly. You'd have to repay Greg, but right. you can't get the money back from me. See, this is not a total because movement. Analysis. So it's the, the, so the real number of win is not as much as it shows there though. The real number wins way bigger than this because there are many many sessions where they where there was where, where there was winning, but they're not looking at it because they're confident that there wasn't cheating involved. And I'm trying to add sessions to that to that list to make this number even smaller. But it could be what your point was is that it could be uh, there are scenarios where you could break even, you know, Neo could break even, yet they're still in that box. Plus, plus, plus and the, then the reason is that you can't take back money from some innocent players. But you're but to win from a cheater. Right. But this is but this is thousands of sessions. So the only way that that doesn't get reduced is if there's never another session with that player where you know where it goes back and it nets out. I think I'm better if I go through here and check people that I think you should pay. So there's that many you think you're just going to take responsibility for? 
I don't know what you mean by taking responsibility. I don't think that the other people on our shift will come back and say anything. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so if they do? It's players that I know that are chatting on, on, uh, out there now, that are active players that are chatting that I know are talking, that play and are still current. And the other ones I don't think, like, even though Freddie Deep's still active, he's not going to say anything anyway. He's not going to come back and say what you So I'm not trying to say this any differently. I, I, I was... There's, 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 only, there's only two ways to, to, to pay it back, right? One is to reduce their liability, i.e. Take, take responsibility. I'm, I'm confused what you're saying. So you're wanting me to check players and I'm going to go tell them I, I owe money? Is that what you want me to tell them? No. Well, I want you to, if, if, if there's a I, player on here, like Freddie D would be a good example. And he was to come back and say, I want money, or I come back and send an email that I want money, then I'd be responsible for that later. Then what we would say is, uh, we'd say is no, we don't think so. Uh, okay. No, because we incorporate. Maybe we could say you know we thought it was a suspicious play or something, and then we'd say talk to us. Right. You just have Why to would you it. say talk to us though? Whatever the message is. Okay. But the point is, is that the business ends up not. I understand. But tell me what you. Why would you say talk to? What would? What would I don't know. What the, I don't know what the message would be. But if a player in the future okay. came to the business and said, "What the fuck? I'm reading all this stuff in the internet. Okay, I, I played with them. I, I have to track or whatever. I, I lost my payment. I understand. Do you then, have dates on here too, or not? The, this is just a summary. So a summary. Really, new places because I can't see this. Okay, so, so let me take this with me because I just can't do it here. Unless you give me reading. You want that? I, I don't want to go any out anywhere. I don't want to copy this. Well, what am I going to do wrong with it? What do you think? I'm going to send it out? No, but what if you lose it? I'm not going to lose it. But I guess let's first get to this. I guess the primary thing here is that uh, first we're trying, obviously, regardless of where we go, we're trying to minimize this thing to the absolute lowest we can. It's still going to be a large amount of money. More money than the business is just going to fork out. So, is trampoline a, wo a woman? Apparently. At least the name's under a woman. Yeah. I don't know. The account name's Linda Bosco. Wait, I got like, it. No, I have no clue. She must be. Or he's playing under his wife's name or something. So, so one thing that we could do is... I think it's all starting with the highest numbers and coming down then, because I can't, really can't see that. Look, let me just go fix this. So either we don't do this part, and we, and, and we look at other ways, um, or we just take a break and I'll run back to the office. And, and Do I have that electronically now? Okay. So why don't I just go across the street and right. print out just the names, nothing else on it, in, in like 50,000 point font so Russ can read it. Just right. the names and nothing else on it. I'd like to see what anything's on here. Okay. You know this. I don't think you'd need the uh, active or the... Uh, I do need that, too. I'd like to see that. Oh, yeah. okay. I mean, this is actually trimmed down. We've got more stuff. You know, this is just the things that I thought. What else do you have? All sorts of stuff. I don't know, like, uh, I don't know what else. It's a big list. You know, just, uh, well, whatever. But those are the, it's just obvious what to select and print, right? I think they have the date that, uh, some dates on there. I just get a third glass. It's a lot easier than you run over doing it, isn't it? I mean, you've got them up here in the, in the store upstairs. So anyway, uh, this point for us to come up and say that there is no... I don't think I got a check in. Anyway, that that would apply if that would somehow... I'll argue that this is a logging. And 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 I'll argue that this is a logging. Discovered that the book in the server that allows this. Discovered the server mistake. Right. They've also discovered which account takes advantage of the mistake. And they have times now when this account logged in. So for us to come out and say the ideal, look at this account, there's no cheating. Uh, it's going to be tough to sell. Now on the other hand, I think if what, if what we can do is to say we've studied it. We know that sometimes it was used, sometimes it was not. These are these limited times are the times it was used. These people are being refunded. Uh, 
and whatever the story is in the end, the reports from somebody like McAvoy are going to have to back the story. So, you know, we're going to have to say in there, after we determine... What's the explanation for the person asking the question? And you must have asked the question yourself. For a third party to have had access to this tool. I don't think we can... In the end, I don't think we can say that it was a third party. Say that there was a consultant that had knowledge of the code. Uh, it's, uh, and he hacked into the system. You're an expert. Hacked into the system, took advantage of this, and say that uh, uh, similar to the last one. Here's what I told. Here's himself. here's what I told Greg this morning. Travis, do you know Travis, my guy? Travis was willing to say that he did all this for me. He hacked it. So he he actually is the one that fixed it. It was broken. He actually is the one that, and he's willing to say that he even went as far as to. Call up Freddie Deeb and say Russ wants you to cash this because he was like he. Everybody knows he does everything for me. He does my airline tickets, my schedules. He does my he does everything. So if he was to call Freddie and say Freddie, Russ wants to send you some money to cash, or Bonnie, he wants to send you some. So he's willing to say that he did this himself. So he, the only person that he might have to say it to is the KGC. He would. He wouldn't want to say. No, you don't want to say that to work because they would know who Travis is, a lot of people. Right, so no, what this is is just that the explanation for the KGC in order to say we've identified the guy. Uh, I think for the public, it just has to be former consultant to the company, uh, took advantage of a server flaw by hacking in the client, been able to identify exactly when sometimes he played with it, sometimes he played without it. Sometimes he intentionally won, and sometimes he intentionally lost. Very erratic play. What we've been able to identify at the times when the tool was up and their net wins. And, that's what and what you could also say is that the tool was originally set for a 15-minute delay, and he hacked, he hacked it to a, a, to, to, a real time. Yeah, to a real time. You no, can't. I think that's what we do. It, no. was, it was originally, because Annie Duke used it on a 15-minute delay quite a few times. But, uh, in the end, well, but in the end, though, there'd be a refund. So what we were asking you in this exercise is not to say that you're going to pay these people, but to identify the people that you know well enough that you can explain it away to them, if they were ever to assert a claim against us. Okay. Like if they were ever to send I understand. an email. I understand. And what you would say is, if when I say talk to us, it wouldn't be that you're involved. It's just that, yeah, I founded this thing with Greg. This is what happened. Uh, you know, friends to the company aren't. We're not getting, you know, I didn't take any money back, even though I was owed money. And, uh, I mean, that's part of the story is that I think, Russ, you have to be owed something here. Because, I mean, you played at these high-stakes tables. So, I mean, this thing has to have ripped you off, too. It has mm -hmm. to have. So, uh, otherwise, it's not going to fly. And, uh, uh, and we can pick off the story for each what do you, what do you? How do you think this money, if you, if it's, suppose it's a $5 million, which Greg thinks it could be right around $5 million, if you had to pay the players and give KG, what is it, KG KG C. C. If we can get it down to five, I'd be happy. And, then I'd and how does the money get paid? Uh, well, it, I mean, we'll convince the business to pay some mm -hmm. straight off the top. Just because of, you know, that's... It's CAPSA or AP, are you talking about? I'm talking about the business that's running the company right now, Norton's business. AP or EUP? I'm confused. Well, it's combined. Now. It's combined, okay. Right. You know, the, operator, the new enterprise. I don't think they're responsible for anything. They're not. But nonetheless, we're going to... This is a damage mitigation. Yeah. But I don't think they're responsible for anything. I agree. Anything. So I, I don't think they're responsible for it. Well, well I, they're not morally responsible. However, they did buy this business. When they bought it, they, you, you always take a risk when you buy a business. Plus, they've made money. Here's, on, here's what I feel. They've made money off the combined business for a year. They have. They can pay some of it just straight up. They can pay some, but here's what I feel. I feel, and I and I did take this money, and I'm not trying to make it right, Dan. So we got to get that out of the way, right, real quick, okay? Uh, I did use a lot for stuff that you don't realize on here for the company that was paid for. I told you. I mean, you, I, I mean, crazy you Canuck. Up until I he quit working four months ago, you can go look at his account. I staked him on every tournament to wear ultimate bed gear. And he played all over the country for you guys. I didn't have him out there playing for me. Right. I mean, even Will called me up four months ago. He says, Rush, you quit staking uh, Crazy Canuck. 
he goes, do you think we should still sponsor him? And I thought, you know, if he's not going to play tournaments, I said, no, I, I wouldn't need to hire him anymore. But I had him up there wearing your stuff. Went pretty deep up until the time that you, the yes, other. I know. Yeah, I understand. So there's a yeah, lot of stuff. That there's, yeah. that the there's, a lot, of here's, there's a lot of guys that I gave money to that, that it shows me winning that I actually would send them 100000 and say, I'm going to stake you. Not caring if they want to lose, just to get them to play in the big games. Right. So I would send a, a guy a hundred thousand or fifty. I'm, I'm, I said a hundred. I'd send twenty-five or twenty or ten or this to a lot of people. So a lot of these numbers is not all numbers that came out cash. Maybe cash. I don't know. Maybe seven million. I don't know. You, you'd have to tell me that. I don't know. But Bonnie didn't get as much as Greg said here. Cash. Freddie D got the most cash. Also, the Freddie and Bonnie together. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. That's what, that's what I said. Bonnie maybe got, Freddie got the majority of it. I don't know who got it all. Yeah, Freddie D. Freddie D. got uh, the majority. Now, Paul is convinced that Carolyn is involved. Here's the only She's thing. not. And only because the entries on all these things. I know. So, and but, here's the thing with Travis. Travis, Travis would call Carolyn. Us. Travis would call Carolyn and say, Russ wants you to change your name. Right. Well, and Carolyn was. Good thing. Yeah. But Paul thinks that Carolyn was. Really? Why? Let me say why. Because that shows that Scaps is responsible. Because Carolyn worked for Jim. Carolyn was one of Jim's DDs. So. Hello, from Holland. It's a good Hey, Tim. It's a good uh, I'm in a meeting. Anything important? Tell me. Tell me what. Tell, tell me. Great. I love that. It's not oh. thing. Thanks, Johnny. Right. Well, so I guess, I guess Say that again. I, I'm sorry. I, oh, I, I was Miami. There, there's a <laughs> one. Miami John. I had him where you think you're right here. This guy. Well, you know, so it's. No, I know. And Andy and Phil, you've got to understand. I just, you paid some of it. You paid some yourself. You got in trouble, I think, for it. They yelled at you. Greg called me at first and yelled at me. But I spent like $100,000 to put him on that golf thing on TV that with the UB stuff. Let him, I didn't have him wear UB gear then. He wore UB. So I spent a lot of this money here on things for people out there. I did pay I Okay, I'm just trying to, but, Russ, I know okay. you. Okay. I mean, you helped a lot of people who needed the money with this. And, frankly, I think if you go back far enough, suspicions as to what was sanctioned, what wasn't, is when the company was in real bad shape. It's we won't have to go back to somehow. Yeah, so we won't. But, uh, uh, but anyway, no, the reason that it's not bad for Carolyn is because uh, not, it's not bad for this whole, in the big picture, for Carolyn's name to be brought out there because it shows that his gaps is responsible. She was a VP there. Uh, in order to get to Excaps' money legally, they almost, they almost have to show fraud because they've gone through this clean bar process to get all these other things. We're looking at two aspects of it. First, about back door, the audit monster not being disclosed to the buyer. Right. Well, yeah, that as well. And then but Jim Ryan, the fact. Jim Ryan knew that. Jim Ryan knew it was there. Didn't know what it had to be used for, but he knew it was there. And he hid that from Yuri. Jason obviously was told not to tell Yuri about this. Jason went through the entire code base with Yuri. Yuri said the place where it was in the code was in an unusual place. Uh, anyway, but so, yeah, no, so to get, to shift responsibility to its NAFSA, which is my sort of goal, that unfortunately they're the only people who have the money to benefit from this. I mean, the reason that Russ, if this was used to support the props and to increase liquidity, Scaps have got the benefit of that. You got 100%, you know, no one's going to say It that. was in the beginning, Dan, is what it was. I, mean, sure I, I don't want to say that in front of Greg, because it's just not right. But Why else would it be in real time? Yeah. But I mean, later it's on, audit, audit function, there's no and some was, and some at the end, and there would have been no Scaps. So they've got to understand, they never had a company to take public for 400 million. But anyway, so how do you feel that the money, here's what I think. Well, I think, can I, I tell you what I think? The business has to just pay some. Can I tell you what I think? To pay some. And I feel I have to pay some. Greg has to probably pay some. 
Uh, that's exactly what I said today. I, I feel exactly the same thing. I feel that ex is the deal that they make now with AP, what they're paying for the year, should be less. The shareholders don't know that the deal was for marketing or what, but it should be less. That's ex -capsa. It doesn't take anything out of the permanent stuff up there. It just takes the payments they're supposed to pay this year less. Some should be paid, I think, by Greg, and some should be paid by me. That's what I think. And I think some, though, no, we have AP. To. I mean, all four. I feel like some should be paid out of ex -capsa's coffers right now. Well, what, shouldn't it, wouldn't that be the same thing as making the payments? Because there's just the problem is that we don't that business doesn't have the cash flow that. Oh, we don't okay. The cash up front. But they don't have a coffer that you can get. The money's not out. Can they? They can't take it out. We have to do some sort of settlement. They, as you know, that they, what Sandy was saying. On the this table. is exactly. But this is Sandy. Sandy. I'm listening. I want you to listen and, and listen, and not as as my friend or whatever. But as an attorney, Dan, is this not basically what I was telling Greg before when we met? Well, I think you guys were having lots of discussions, and I think you may have said that, but I'm not sure that I was present when you did. Okay. Okay. What what Dan and I have just discussed is a concept. But let me, Dan. Right. I gotta tell you. Okay. There's a concept called joint and several liability. Yeah. The three of us are, are, in a, are, are, are engaged in an action that causes damage to a third party. Yes. We were in a partnership. It's a general yes. partnership. Munster had no knowledge of so much to know that. The last I night, I called him last night. I left him a message. He called me at 1 o'clock in the morning. I just wanted to tell him that one more time. Damage to the third party is $100. Collectively, we're on the hook for $100, but it's not $33.33 a piece whoever has the hundred dollars. Okay. And then there's rights of contribution between us. Between us. But the fact is is that the enterprise owes the hundred dollars. And what Dan is saying, unless I missed you misunderstood you completely, is that X Capsa owns a piece of the liability. It's got fifty million dollars sitting in cash. It not only can, it should make a contribution to buy peace and let the rest sort itself out between the parties. And, and Dan, listen, I want you to... Okay, no, well, I, don't I, I, want to talk to, I want to talk to Dan private anyway. I understand your position here, Russell. You don't have $16 million in the bank. You bank all your money and put it into your company. That's your position. You can't... But I think you're going to get it down... In, I think you're money. going to get it down into the 5 to $6 to $7 million. Here's the one thing I want to say. What I did was wrong. It doesn't matter. I did use it in the game, but we would have never had a business if it no matter if anybody saw it or anything like that, okay? But let's forget that because some people don't want that brought up. Probably shouldn't be. I don't care. But I will tell, I don't know who you have to talk to, whether Hilt or Scott or who or what down there. I'll help, I'll help pay some of this money out of my ex -capsa money, too. I did what I did wrong. ex -capsa, I think, owes some of this money, though, because it was part of their... Uh, they originally... They, they had this thing. They used it. Jim Ryan was aware of it, didn't make him aware of it, didn't make Gary aware of it. So I think there's some responsibility for all of us. But I, want these, I don't want these guys to be to the point to where they don't even want to talk to me again, because I'll, I'll give these guys... I, got, I just got the other day a 1.4 million list from a guy from Europe, all European players. I can't use it. I can use it for my stuff, but it's all good. You don't, well, Russ, yeah. if we so, get through this, everybody will still be fine. Okay. But, uh, the key thing is it's for us to get through it. You know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I feel you, like part of the story has to be that it has for some of the people is that uh, you were taking you. I don't, you know, I so, saw a list that I won $200,000 with my name on a sheet. I don't think I've won on the site. I don't think Russ Hamilton's a winner. I mean, everybody told me I saw a sheet. For, no, our Hamilton has been, they've cleared that. They're not looking at our Hamilton. Because it's enough losses. I thought Russ Hamilton was a loser on the site, but I thought the enemy's a winner. Russ Hamilton is a loser on the site, I think. He might be an overall winner, but it's, uh, the good news is that account, Paul, is, yeah. says that there's enough in there that we don't have to bring it out. Yeah. But... Yeah. Now, Curtis's account, H. Curtis, that's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem right now. But I uh, bet uh, you don't want to come out and never mention that name, obviously. No, we don't. Um, but our Hamilton is at least not being... I think, I think you clear the H. Curtis account you can because a lot of people know him. That's his name. 
Calvin Hill knows him. And he knows him, and they know the name on the screen. But he's a big stakes player in California. He's a huge stakes player. He plays in all the big games with, you know, Ben Affleck. I mean, not Ben Affleck, but all the guys over there. You know, uh, Tophie McGuire. Affleck's on here. Yeah, I know. Affleck's on here? Yeah. Yeah, well, he owes the company like a half a million anyway, doesn't he? Does he, then? Yeah, he does. Most of this is small amounts. Well, so anyway, my strategy at this point is just to try to lower the number as much as possible. But I do think we're headed to for us to try to argue that. Uh, do you, do you think we can? Do you argument. think we can work this down to a number to where we can give the refund and give the KGC to where they don't bring names? Because the names could destroy. Yes. And the names could destroy everybody. I mean, the company. This is what I tried to tell Greg. If the names come out. It's going to go back a lot farther than 2005, and Excapsa could lose this whole 52,000 or whatever. It's 47. 47. No, I agree. No one has any interest in the name right now. You've given thought to the worst case scenario. I sure have. No, I have too. And from Wednesday on, I've been. No, we'll be watching TV. I know. I've got a call in right now. I'll call you right back. Can I talk to you just for a second? Russ, I need to talk to Dan for a second. Please. Is tomorrow okay? Uh, okay, because what originally he had done to me is he had told me... Okay, I know, but he had... But, yeah, I know, but he had told me 10 o'clock his secretary or something, and then he called me yesterday and said he wanted the early show 7.30 or something. So that's where the confusion was. So that's what I'm trying to get corrected. Let me, I'll take care of it, and I'll call you back yourself. Thank you. Jack, it's Russ. Give me a call. We can talk to you. Okay, so basically, Greg, uh, is this my drink? Summer. Well, I'll talk to you before. What we've done is we're going to be bad shaker. Look, I know we're going to get everything else on here. Put this one on your side. Yeah. And, well, what else is there? Oh, well, active, 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 who cares? The amount of balance oh, and stuff. Is there a countdown straight there? Oh, this is their milk. Okay, this is their milk. Okay. The only thing that's not on there is the active status of... Okay. Okay, so anyway, what we went through was the fact that uh, Russ, you know, agreed. Obviously, this is wrong. He's personally benefited from some of it. But a large portion, and a great portion, went to other people who helped the son of his release. So, so I didn't say the largest portion. The that's not true. A, a lot of it did. A lot of it did. Okay. And uh, also, with this thing, went, you know, we're lucky that we're kind of not the date where it is. And you send us at lunch. So, you know, back days as you could go back further, and that would be back. It's going to decrease. Her her Herschel is never going to say a word, so I'm marking them. That's 100000 Hmm? Herschel. Well, anyway, to explain what this is, is that if these guys were to call us somehow or other, we'd so be able to call you. Absolutely. We'd call you, and then you'd say, I'll call, call them up how we can deal with them. No, one thing that Sandy was pointing out is that, look, you know, no one check is for him to realize that if he, this thing were really to blow up, it would be more than us. Argument that uh, Carolyn could have known about it if we didn't have some monies, all the monies, critical not to, you know, it's all. Plus, it would be such a good story. You know, that's the thing that people love to read. Whatever the amount you can't believe you can't believe anywhere over a million dollars. Whatever it just needs to be, whatever the, whatever the generic. What, what you should do is you should, re at least here's what's causing all the chat. Because only one statement's ever been made, and that was, we've hired someone to look at these histories. That's it, and they've never, it took a long time to get that, and they've never said anything since. If someone would just put a statement out there that, uh, just to give you an update, we're, you know, you, you have to give them some kind of an update. No, they, all is pounding us to give us a, give an update. 
it's critical that you give them an update so they stop all their chatter. And I think a good person to give an update to is this trampoline through Helmut, because this trampoline calls Helmut a lot. Even in the chat on the chat rooms, it says, I call Phil Bays in Europe right now. So if Phil would just say, you have to give them some time, post it on the boards, they're taking care of it, and they're working hard at going through every one of these accounts. Trampoline will go out and give you a good report. I don't know him to tell him, but Phil will do it. Yeah, that's, Phil is the absolute worst possible person on the planet to ever be even remotely close to this. It's, it's, it's unfortunate that I don't know how this person ever got a hold of, of Phil, but Phil is just the absolute worst. That's how the whole thing started with complaints to Phil. It is. I'm, I'm Phil Holman. You know, he can't be controlled and explain the way. Who's Scott Manasau? Is that Gender Mike Manasau? Must be his brother. Clinton's on that list and some Manasau's on that list. So Robert, Robert Williamson, you can take off right here. It's going to take some convincing to get uh, Jim to participate. It's something I want to talk to you about. Um, um, how are we going to do that? Don't, don't bury it very much. But I, but I, but I just, it's my sense of, maybe you're not going to have this stuff in the way that you handle it. I don't want this thing to escalate into some, okay, if you don't do this, this is what's going to happen, and now he's just going to do the field and it's going to be a nightmare. So, it could be a bigger, a way bigger than I'm going to be able to wait about. I don't know. 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 You and I have this argument at lunch, and I just don't want to have this argument with you. You and I disagree about something. Well, we're you not. When we talk you. different about the different things you walked away, we're not talking about. Yeah, I don't know. We're paying everything in We're not talking about that. We just have different opinions. I think you're responsible for a certain piece. Don't get mad. I'm exhausting. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is we can't seem to get on the same page. You, you think you should be taking in his boots? And no, I don't about. think that. Okay. I think he should realize, though, that he's responsible for something here. It's actually a fifth to be responsible for something. Yeah, I'll argue know. that for, for the rest of the night. I don't think Jim Ryan should be quaking in his boots at all. I think he, I think Excaps was responsible for something. I didn't, I'm not saying he should be quaking in his boots. But if he digs his heels in and he starts acting like a three-year-old child, I mean, it's wrong. All I'm saying is I'm, I'm not caring about all of this. It's, you know, Jim's, I agree, it's tough, it's tough to God eat. This guy right here. I mean, I think that the way here's, here's the guy that's not going to be considered it. You hate the approach, the sledgehammer approach. Yeah, I know. You, you, you know here's a guy that, that here's a guy that sent twenty thousand and still owes twenty thousand, and you but you got anyone down stuck here? So I mean, where you go, the guy like that, and that's never paid. And I think uh, he, he owes money. So I guess you know. The big question is: Are they, are these people going to come to the company and ask for their share? And if they do, can we somehow just say, "Look, well, uh, I'm working. I'm working. I'm just going to leave him there. It doesn't matter." I don't know if I've ever been on this, right? Lee Salem. This guy fucking owes me $85,000. I loaned him, put it, well, give it to him on the site to play with. He owes 34. He owes me 85000 He's never paid it. So, I mean, I'm just going to mark him off, Lee Salem. He don't even, I don't even think he plays anymore. Right around the south. I've never even heard of some of these names. You sure I've played with these people? I've never even heard of a lot of them. Well, look, so, so the answer is 100% yes. But again, what, what we're trying to do is, is based on the snare stuff and detail in the hand history, there's not sections that say, look, what wasn't used in that session, so it can't be considered. So when all that gets pared down, this list is like, whatever, 1,200 things long, right? Okay? 1,200 things. So when some sessions get pulled out of it, A, likely going to be a list smaller than 1,200. B, it's entirely possible that there are some player balances in there that are... Do you lose 1,200 here or do you take them out? No, it's guaranteed. I was cheating. So yeah, no. And so... That, that I'm actually pleased yeah. that the number is so small. I think it's fine. Only 30 grand. So I'm worried that it was... We can't... I don't think we can say it. Okay. So it's quite good to I think you're absolutely fine. Probably need Gross Hamilton in here. I think the story has to be... Freddie so Deep here, it's his, it's his wife. So, whatever this list looks like, that's what they care, Tom, how do you say Paul ever asked about 
and I'm being kind of really fun, and I want hand pictures or whatever. They, they got to know. This like, is a way to go right up to Paul. Okay. Here's, here's one that says I beat for 22000 That's me. That's my own account. So that could be... That's an old account I had that I played that I was out there playing years ago. So, so you had to have been playing at a table with one of the other accounts. Yeah, I have to be playing playing with... Uh, I don't know how, but I never ever put two players together at one table ever. That's ever good. Can we look at the cheating account list? Do it best. Never, that. never, never did. This one right here. Never played at a table with two people. Uh, well, just... Um, I never played at a table with two people. How, how, that, how exactly that got on the list, right? Put great new right on there, just right next. That's put on the top, but... Uh, well, I'll put the asterisk right here. Yeah, so you got enough. Play, yeah. uh, never play either. Yeah. So, what that says is, maybe, when you come on the 14th and he says that isn't me. Well, that'd be nice. Yeah. There is some on the 14th, it's not me. I saw the names out there that you guys have got. That's why we'd be good to send some of That's why if you send some of those histories to me to do it and let Tom do those, they're good. I told you guys to do those. Here, here, wait a minute. Here's some of the names. They have a... What? All the ideas. Oh, okay. But, uh... But that's worth checking. It could be that one of the winning accounts that... These, right here, these names I never heard of before. Easy Champ they had out there. Three Will Hog, I Want Money, one, two, two, two. I never heard of them. Uh, I keep going because maybe there's another thing that will help find some. Don't forget, what they're doing Our is, goal is they don't understand what's going on. What they're doing is they're looking at any connection by all those things that I mentioned. So it's possible that it's a connection made by IP address that, you know, IP addresses recycle. Or it could be even, let's say, some legitimate play coming from the IP address you normally use, somebody at your office that somehow got thrown into it. That or someone logs into someone logs into one of your office computers. Devilfish, leaving on here, that's good. Huh? What have you come? That's, that, that's kind of the criteria. Yeah, the big, the big criteria is if he comes, can you deal with them? Yes. And cross, then put an X there. We don't know what the story is. Twenty thousand. These are all small figures. Or not. These are all ten thousand, fifteen thousand. These are these are all small figures. These are the ones that they think are part of the winning rings. One thing that looks bad on this is the you know the way that pitch names. That's another thing. The challenge is to take one account. So what I'm confused about is this is oh I see previous one and two okay so it's those oh, boys and Joe he's a loser total through the years I think that's I mean, good then that means that we want to keep it in there I mean I know it is the question is is there is there somebody on this list that you have no clue what it is or, no I, really the question is is on that are there names on the list that never were used for the audit monster right I have no idea about that. I can't actually. Does that mean that these are the previous names of this one? Right. Where's Neo Neo? I guess Neo Neo. So Neo, that was the first name. Name of the computer. Different name. Different screen names. 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 That's not a new account number. But you're, instead of being gang, you're now gray. Right. And to the world. And to the world, you're gray. Right. And that's unusual to do that. To have. Sometimes it's totally legitimate. Sometimes I might write into a site and say, I'm being abusing her. Please change my name. Right. Or maybe some other reason. You know, there are bona fide reasons to change. And with good customers, you might do it. But uh, with this, it shows a history of Carolyn changing the name. Graphic change. So it's, uh, but like, about these two days, and then two days, and then two days, and 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 two days, and
but these might be people where money was transferred to. You may have called uh, and had money. Yeah, pay for traces to your priest. So there might have been a time that you paid into the system or somehow. Do you want to know what I did with Chip? Can you tell you what I did with Chip? I don't know. I don't matter. Probably doesn't. Did pay off the debt. That the monster owed him from years ago when he was broke before he ever started with you guys. <laughs> but there's an example of, you know, I, yeah. if that was just, you know, I don't want to, that's just transfer. Russ, I don't want to shift this to innocence, but that's an example of, like, that, that monster should pull him up for that. He's illegitimate needs, benefited from it. He's got a, it, it's not only if a question. Can I say something? But somehow, just let me pay it. Don't. If you try and bring, you're just going to cause animosity with Munster. He didn't have anything to do with this. Let me. Let me have that one. I'll pay it if I got to. Okay. No. Okay. okay. No. I'm not. Okay. I understand you're not wanting to bring it in. But I. I do. Just for that one thing. That's what the one thing was. I think it's the only account I ever paid for him. It's the only person. Process. Let's assume we're paying. Talk to me about how you handled it. Okay. Well, I don't know. Well, I hope that Joe and uh, the good thing is. That the Joe Cookie relationship goes through me. And I can quickly, quickly talk to Joe. Or you talk to Joe. I talk usually both at once, so I, sometimes I call Joe. But uh, for something like this, we talk to both of them. I don't think Paul would be calling up Joe Martin without me. Anything with that I'll be involved with. Uh, Paul is a friend. I have Paul's trust. But Paul is a friend of the company. He knows that I'm just trying to, I mean, I think he speaks to you. Uh, deal with what about these full tone guys that never plan to fight where they're not allowed to? Yeah, right. Greg, Greg mentioned those guys. guys. Okay. That's what I never will. Who will you be worried about? 15,000. He played a lot. Phil Ivey's never going to be kicked. He calls me off about Phil Ivey. Gus Hanson, I don't know that. Well, Phil Ivey, I know real well. for golf for the long time. Right. I mean, yeah, though the litmus test is if they contact the site, there'll be a special message. It'll go right to Paul. Paul will somehow call you and say, take care of it. I'm just going to mark Gus Hanson. That's great. Jim Affleck, forgive me. Have him call me. Cookie talks to Jim separately, just for their, you know, just for the people. He's making a $25 market for the cookie contest. A little bit of steady stuff. So, uh, uh, so he, but uh, on this particular instance, no, I'm the, I'm the one who's broke with him. Uh, things got a bit strained, in, in, uh, mainly due to this AP situation, the money, and, you know, the bad situation. Uh, and I'm, I'm worried about the minimum strain, and I, I think he's, he's kind of probably nothing to do with these types of problems, just wants to distance himself, wants to be over, you know, he gets thought of this thing, just gets set up, and then we'll get some problems keep coming up, and if we have so many, it's increasing here. The last conversation I had with Jim post the vision, which he set up, and he's running out of patience. That issue. It sounds to me, knowing Jim, he's plant in that story to be helpful to filter back to us. But I think there's been some trust being in the H. Curtis and Danny Boyd, let me see that list. Curtis. Curtis and Danny Boyd, if you guys, you got to take them off and just clear those because people know them out there. And they'll relay them. Did you use the monster then? You, could you log into Houston's account and everything? I did. And he just unbeknownst to him? Yeah. See, that's the type of thing that we may need to hack a boy. Okay, I will. You know, for that. I'll, I'll make sure. Part of but, the reason for the slow rolling. But Houston Curtis. You know, Russ, part of the reason for the slow rolling hack boy is if he were to come out with this statement right now that Neo Neo is perfectly clean, I think it would undermine it. You have to know what the story is. And it gives it now to set the back I, whatever I, it is. I communicated in an email. He just said, give me a resume. It sounds like it wasn't. A no. Taking our time, take your time. It was more of a you know, it's a resume, that's all I said. So it wasn't and he's worked three weeks. He I don't have calls on email. Yeah. So who so so obviously it's Curtis it's Houston Curtis, who's Dennis Novinsky in Michigan. Everybody knows he's from money. I believe every Aruba term is name. Dennis Novinsky. Dennis Novinsky. Well, Maybe that's kind of a good thing because in, in, in a lot of the players, the of these, these players, you know, the real names in these accounts are involved in this. They're implicated by some other kind names. Of There's some players that we are very confident. No, well, that's what I like. didn't know. They didn't know this happened. There are other players that 
may not be involved, but 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 this is you know quite a bit. They may not have been involved, so we don't want to you know. Yeah, no, I think the statement is like we've identified Neo Neo and maybe one other. These guys are bad apples. Total of one point five million being reimbursed. I don't think you mentioned the number. We might, if you want to, throw them a bone on them and say that in addition, there are other accounts that we can't prove, but they're associated. Reimbursements will be forthcoming, but we can't disclose the names of these accounts because... I wouldn't disclose any of the names that were, that were bad. Then you're going to have... Ways. Because you know, then you're going to have people calling you to play with me on the other... I wouldn't disclose any names. I would just say we went through. There's... Oh, some of them that were bad, there were some that we checked out okay. We went through, we checked for the other months there was, but I wouldn't name any names. You name a name, you're just going to start more chatter out there. I'm naming names. One thing we need, though, is that, uh, like in the last one, the only way to satisfy these geeks was to send them their entire hand histories. You can't do that. And uh, you cannot send hand histories off. They've got most of them already. They don't have, they don't have the hand histories of our show. Not with old cards, right? They just they don't, they don't, there's not one hand that they have that shows that's bad. Not one. Hand histories they have, there's no, like the AP thing, it was the most obvious thing in the world. They have not one hand, and they can go through every hand history they've had in, in 100,000 hands here. They can go through all those names. There's not one hand history that'll show up bad again. There's not one damn. You cannot send out hand history. I'm not, you know, what I'm trying to do is find a solution that's going to... They were not sending out hand We went through, we checked, we reimbursed, we're making payments, we're here, and we're making everybody whole. The biggest one squawker is trampoline to take care of. That's the, the one that's... What is the, the, the story of that person? Well, I'm going to get commissions, and get commissions, and make sense. Yeah, first, I'll come in. Do you want to, what do you want to come in? I'm just wondering if, if, this, if there's a lot of it. Maybe I'm not. Oh, you're talking about trampoline? Oh. Tell me, it's a girl. I don't know who the person is. What we could do with trampoline, though, is actually, if we could, Bill Teddy do this for us, is help deal with this. Well, Bill um, knows trampoline. He, if he were to come out and say, look, I went, I flew down to Costa Rica, explaining to me what they did. They went through this with excruciating detail. Everybody got paid back every penny. Otherwise, I wouldn't continue to represent them. Okay. All right. You know, I love that. If this is if this is um, if this is just hey Phil, will you go take care of this person and that's it, and this is a disaster. Mm -hmm. But if but if this is mm -hmm. a a actually fly Phil down there, what? right? And 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 go through this stuff in, with Paul in excruciating detail about what was done and Phil right, you know, like roll into that and say just fine. And then and then uh, Phil can can. Um, can make a can send statement a, to the press saying, I went, you know, right. you can make a state public, one public statement saying, you know, the company did the right thing, and then one, uh, that's what he's being paid for, so, you know, they only do the same thing. Okay, I You can't tell Phil any names. So what you're going to have to, we're going to have to cover up a little bit. Because the, one thing that Phil knows is, if you remember, Paul and I called you initially on that Friday, and you said, oh, Neil, Neil, it's fine. I know mm -hmm. him, he's a high stakes player. We, Phil called us to initiate that. So we called Phil back and said, don't worry, Phil. Uh, Russ knows the guy. He's actually backed him in the past. High stakes player from New York. Just had a win streak. You told Phil that? Yeah. So somehow, uh, uh, somehow we're going to have to, we're going to have to patch it up slightly. I think it's easily said by just saying, yeah, the person who did it, I backed him. You know, he screwed me. Tap it, you well, backed I figure a different flavor for that, bro. I don't think that's good, but I'll probably something good. So anyway, something will have to be communicated. Whatever, whatever it is, it needs to get coordinated. So that it's not burdened with the thing lying around. I can try to get public text. So I don't get public text. No one's going to know who the hell Paul is. Or, uh, or that's the same thing for Joe Norton. Joe at least comes out with a release and says what it's in. But uh, that's but, but still how he wants to use it. My point is that for this vocal minority, Right. Paul had said that if we really wanted to, if necessary, we would do a uh, calling number. Would they actually have a forum to call in and do a message? True. But some of these people need to go. If not that, at least the personal call. I mean, these people who are writing in the forums need to be called. And often they all need to be touched.
one on one conversation has a lot better. So, okay. Now, all right, let's talk about this thing, though. The bigger issue where you guys came to uh, grips on the thing. I feel like it's critical as part of this. If we're going to excel this thing, part of it has to be uh, process to pitch in. Because otherwise, they're going to think it's just some inside job. We would have come to them and say, yeah, six caps is paying it all. Well, you know, health and Again, something you might want to think about is Finn's biggest thing that he always brings up is, frankly, I don't think it's a bad message. To this is what happened. There's a flaw in the software. It was taken care of. When we sold the business, we agreed that the customer balances would be full. Turns out they weren't. They had a claim of fraud, so we settled it. And I, don't, I actually think it's a good story. The truth is often a good story. I am uh, uh, indifferent about the message and what percentage you pay where. So, I mean, I, I would, so this is purely customer balance, this right. session. The way that the damage is the same, right? There was X million in the bank account. You thought you had whatever your percentage is of that, and now it's not. And then in terms of, and then in terms of who pays it, if the institutional investors or if, or if folks in their uh, visuals in the business have to, have to, uh, you know, their contributions have to pay it. Oh, well, one thing that doesn't help us is that the business is cash poor. Great cash generator, but they've been putting out so many buyers lately. We have the things so we could have easily written the whole check for this. They're not in the position to be in. This is the thing about, about GM is now maybe they all be discussed. In the Ina group, they really put in down. There's an example, yeah. It's fifteen hundred dollars. But this is an example of, of or GM ultimately suggest that the X cap I simply sell you know, X caps up helping the short term cash issue. So I mean that's that and that's that's just that's just the moment. That's not that's not paying for you are there. But he doesn't somebody has to communicate to him what happened here. And uh, I'd like to do it at some point, but without being harsh on him, but just to say this is what happened, that speech that I gave about me. Like, look, this is what happened. I'd like to tell him, and uh, I think Gail should be on there. And I'd like, potentially, Melissa. I'm just worried about Melissa because of her relation. You know, my reason I mentioned her is because she's a director. But it really should be. And ideally, it would be Jim, Gail, Melissa. And then I'd ask you to come and not to come. And I'd just say, get on there. Get, tell the whole just be on the guys. When you hired me, you told promise me to do the right thing here. We hired the directors, and I know that all those directors hurt your wallets, and it's going to hurt some of our reputations. But you know, I'm not. Gonna, how could I cash my dividend check without all of fault? I was at fault. I was responsible for legal. Gail was much more involved, and she was the one who wanted it every transfer. I feel like we have to have the heart to heart, and we have to realize that's why. I think that we're asking them for money is that because it's the right thing. I think most likely the initial He wants to get into the legal arguments. Fine. He loses. You bring this case before a judge, he's done. They will find a way to pull the liability. This would be a lot lawsuit brought in Malta. I think Malta's not going to make its gas to play back the, pay back the and They're probably going to ignore this whole Canada thing. Years of litigation. Everybody's name would be brought through the mud. Uh, may have some technicalities, which he does. Sure, the, the things that that is, but this is the type of extraordinary. For starters, if you look at the liability, more than half of it is before the sale date. This occurred before it was sold. So, but on standard of the paperwork, the Jim's argument is going to be good enough. No, the paperwork is as is, but if you misrepresent and uh, still a point of view, if you don't know them, the obvious thing would be the story. That's the question. I think it's like, to me, Jim was going to, Jim was absolutely going to be able to say it. He didn't. Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. Could you have known when he said he didn't tell you that this code was on there? He was told he was going to be this code. I'm not sure. Huh? How do you know that? I don't know. I don't know that for sure. I just know from talking to Jerry. 
Well, of course, there are studies on the go, too. Remember, I think what Russ is saying, Jim didn't tell you. I'm not sure Jim didn't tell you. You told me he didn't be able to do it at I'm not sure. Hey, brother, what's going on? Good. Good, hello, how are you? Not a lot of monster. Well, no, Jim may be right. There are all sorts of technicalities, but he give up his phone for us. I mean, it's no problem. I'm not worried about it. As long as you just call me like this every now and then, it's fine. I'd I wish you all the luck in the world. Yeah, I mean, yeah. well, no, okay, I and good luck to you. Him to cast his check without this being taken care of first. Wouldn't be right. You're welcome. Have, have get, get, go get them up there. You said that every day, and I thought you were going to Okay, then. Bye. No, I No, what I'm saying is before trip. All of us trips. I mean, we need to pay people. Um, I just know the dynamic that if we were to push this whole thing on the new business, they have their problems is it's not only it's HAPSA. And there's other death over SGS. Happy as it is. I mean they would they'd have to do something drastic. The way they could do it is if they run it the same way we do. If we have there's that no protection, we can take that uh, there's no way to actually run any of those Both stories get out there. There's just not one thing we could do is uh we want it time, but Question of whether it's cash should pay or not. We could have the Mohawk. Take it to the Mohawk Tribunal. Yes, sir. The issue would be is that uh, uh, the buyer would be going against the cash to pay. The cash would say, no, no, we don't have to pay. So, so I mean, that, could be this, that could be decided in some private form, I guess. How does that solve the player problem? Yeah. Yeah, that's so like one, there's, there's like so many issues in public place. Yeah. All the issues from Don Piles made around minimizing the law. The other issues would be the dynamic with the KGC. I don't believe in saying. Right. I find him before when you this time you're about Mark Stephen. Well, he's not going to be sent. Huh? We're not going to be sent. Okay. Go through again? Yeah. We're going to found some when I went through it again, too. I'm just going through the big one church at the beginning. I'm not going to get all of that. It's possible. Huh. Well, I want to talk about the. Biggest losers on the site blank. 
But David is never. I mean, I'm, I don't. I hope he don't. He knows that Neil Neil's me. I hope it's not released. I mean, I've always told him it's never. You know, so that's why I hope names don't get released. Yet. I think this is as good as I can do. Can I take this one, read glasses, and give you a, another copy? I'm not gonna lose it. I feel like we should somehow uh, read some. Yeah. So it's just names or something. Something that's serious. But, uh, but we certainly can get to the, I think, just the player list of the people. Yeah. That's the names of the players, not the screen. Yeah. Are we going to make the 515 plays, Randy? What's the next one? Uh, 1145 or something. Stay. Stay? Okay. I think we should try to hash okay. it. Okay. That's fine. Take it. Okay. I mean, there's, 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 there's two ways, there's only two ways to look at this. There's, there's percentage and there's dollar amount. So if there's some, there's some amount of money that, that, that walked off the site, you're, you're, if you look at it from a dollar perspective, your perspective is, well, yeah, with all that money, this personal debt. Well, the dollar amount was also look at the value of the company that was used for a dollar amount, too. So I don't think you can use a dollar amount. I think there's a share of everything that happened here. Responsible for. It's my opinion. What are you looking at me like that for? You're surprised. Why? Well, well, I think I think if your I think if your argument was, hey, you know, that no money ever walked off the site and this was used for playing the host program, doing this, playing, putting someone in or whatever it was, then maybe that would be a different argument. But but if money walked off the site and and you know, I barely understand the argument of, well, okay, fine, no one knew it walked out the site, but a significant percentage of that was used to do stuff that benefited UB, so everybody should, should, should be part, part, should therefore partially responsible for that. I have a hard enough time solving that one. But there is some amount of that that sounds like that was just purely for doing other stuff with. And so it seems like there is, should be some way to say, okay, well, how, you know, how much is that? How much, how much, what dollar amount of that didn't benefit anybody but me, so therefore there's some number that says, you know, take that out of my future caps of stuff up until that point and, and it seems like it. I mean, one thing about this thing is that Russ took this money and pumped it into the new business. So it's gone. Uh, but that was, that's, why, that's sort of what I was hinting on saying that other people, like I mean, when Paul looks at it, he sees that all these accounts have the UBT on the email. You know, because it's uh, readable. You know, because he's trying to connect the dots. Uh, I think, I mean, and, and I could feel like uh, that uh, personally, and I would make it easier for everyone to swallow this. Is, on the, not on the e-work side, but you explain to my sort, look, this is why we got, went public. It's because of this. Uh, everybody got their chunk when they explain went to the did you say? Yeah, all the e-work people. You know, there's that whole group of people who got shares in XCAP, so by virtue of their relationship. With like, uh, you know, what does that have to do with this? So you what, how things. does this help? So, so kind of yeah. to the case, what happened, what's the end result? Is that their stock also goes to this. Their XCAP stock? Their XCAP stock. But these, the theory being is that these people should continue to benefit from the other people who are paid back, shifting the responsibility to... Uh, well, those guys should still be in it. I mean, they helped build the site to where it was. Those guys shouldn't be penalized for this year. Those they guys got paid. They, we, we, we went public. But they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't do anything wrong. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying who benefited. We went public at this big valuation. And they, those were the guys I disagree with this completely. These guys didn't have anything to do with this at all. They, they didn't, nothing. I mean, they... You are in you, 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 you an IP on this one. I, I, I feel the same, I the same way. Uh, every other shareholder, I would say, is, you know, because the deal, the deal that was done with, with the was a combination of cash and, and stock. So it just seems like if, if they didn't know about it, they weren't involved in it, it's kind of hard to say, well, you got to pay more than any other shareholder. That's mine. But it's, 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 it's either dollar amount or percentage. I, mean, look at it one way I think the percentage is what it should be. I think AP is responsible for some. I think XCAPS is responsible for some. I was just out of 
curiosity has it, repeat, what's the argument for AT being responsible for anything? It has to be responsible for something. Why? And it's has to be. If I'm, if I'm an AP shareholder and someone comes and says... Well, they made a lot of money. They made money off the site already, didn't they? So I'm just, I'm just I'm, to play a devil's advocate here, mm -hmm. I'm an AP shareholder. And someone comes and says, uh, you're going to pay whatever percentage of this of this obligation that's, that's arisen. Why? Well, because some percentage of it occurred on on the watch list in business. But I could see someone having a legitimate argument that says, so what? Platforms, that's the platform that we that came with this. I, I mean I could just I could say no. someone putting up an argument that says, no. So I'm just wanting to know what what is, what is the argument that's going to be made which maybe they don't like, but it's reasonable to say, well, the only argument is, first of all, I don't think you can go, when you say AP, I don't think you meant the current thing. Okay. So let's separate these things into yeah. groups. So, so there's the original AP, there's the, there's the X CAPSA, essentially. Equivalent. The equivalent. SGS. There's, there's X CAPSA, and there's this SGS company. Those are shareholders of these original things. And there's NUCO. I call it AP, UP, whatever. Um, so I, I jump to the the next caps equivalent. So those SGS shareholders. I don't know what they're responsible for. Okay, what we were saying. Okay. I agree with that. That would be like coming to caps and saying, "Hey, people." So 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 then there's the business. So what's the what's the argument for the business being culpable? Well, they operated the site and they didn't uh, have the wherewithal to go in and. And we'll see if there are any, you know, scrutinized transfers, scrutinized where money is. Part the acquisition, but it seems to be pretty similar to Paul said with Carolyn, actually. I'm not sure if you went to, you know. But I think the best argument is to say post-sale, they benefited by virtue of increased money. To go to the negligence argument that they should have known the copy because it is. But isn't that the same argument that you're going to, that's going to be used for, for or excessive? You're going to say to, yes. you're going to say to, uh, you're going to say to Jim, well, wait, you, I don't care if you do or not. You're the ultimate responsible for what happened on your watch, right? You're going to say to Gail, wait, well, you know, you made this comment to Dan at some point of, oh, shit, you know, don't look at those, don't look at that stuff, it's a, it's a mess. Now, maybe she only meant it's just there's lots of it and, and you know, it's going to take forever to figure it out, or maybe she meant, uh, I'm well, suspicious. At some but point, she ought to visit the company. I make a lot of financials for those people. In fact, my guess is that she didn't know, and uh, or she highlighted it, and then asked Jim, and because it doesn't seem to me that anybody, other parties, would be willing to contribute. No, but I think, but I think that uh, could, it will be that. This first question is going to be important. I just want to make sure I understand what, Jim was, what the dynamic is. Let me say this a different way. If 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 a million dollars walked off the site, yeah, and Russ said. I, I, I should be, I should personally be responsible for at least half of it. Right. Anyway, so now, so now, you know, at least you know. Right. Well, maybe it's a combination of things. Maybe it's maybe it says uh, X percentage. But what, what if what if the business said, uh, you know, we're going to this, you know, boxing it in. We're going to go after X capital for twenty million or sixteen. Go after X capital the whole amount. All. Now what? So now, you know. Do you want to look at it by percentage, or do you want to look at it by... Well, you can do it with a hybrid, which is a percentage against the cap. I, I'm just, I'll tell you what I'm confused by. Okay. What I'm confused by is Russ is saying, hey, this has gone for one long time, and, 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 and it was moved around the site and the business benefit. So, okay, so the argument is that whatever that benefit is, and whatever that cost is, therefore, all, all everybody involved should have to... Should, but what about this other piece? So this other piece is different to me. The other piece is not things move around the site. This is moving off the site. That just feels different to me. It feels different to me, too. But I mean, the reasoning for, I think, pulling it off. Is it's irrelevant. I know. It's, it's like, irrelevant. How is it relevant? It's not. But to me, it makes it a little bit slightly better. I don't know why. It makes more of an explanation. The well, strain of the business got to it. I, I think if every single catch a shareholder, Benefited from had, had, had a piece of the UBT, then maybe you could argue, well, that's you know, okay, well, but uh, did every sketch of shareholder have a benefit in the beginning if that happened? What, what, 
what I'm saying is... Um, I agree with yeah. what you're saying, but every Excalibur shareholder had a, a benefit in the beginning, too. They got it to the value that it was at, too. They got it to that $400 million yeah, I, 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 IPO. I understand. And, okay. But, but what I'm struggling with is if, if, if the, uh, you know, of some, there's some overall number, and then there's a subset of that that came off the site, and you're saying, well, but even of that, there's some percentage that near my health, I paid for Bill or any or whatever, you be this or whatever. So you're, in your mind, well, there's some percentage that, that, that would have been. There's still some number that in your mind, well, okay, that, that wasn't bad in the business. That was just whatever that number is. What I understood was to say is that there are dollars with respect to the policy of stopping no, I don't think it's in dollars. I think it well, determines the number that they come up with. If they come up with a lot smaller number, I'm going to come up with a lot bigger percentage. I'm trying to see what this number is. Absolute dollar. I don't know what this dollar. I don't know what this dollar on is. Well, I, everyone's in agreement that we have to try to uh, lower the amount. The fact that you didn't use them the tool all the time is helpful. You know, unfortunately, though, the times that you didn't use the tool, you weren't didn't have the net win. You know, you know, didn't do as well. I think you're overall on that win, but uh, energy it's going to be tilted way. I think there's a chance that on a couple of these accounts, like Houston's accounts, the first and the boy need to fall. But but for McAvoy's, when we get to that point, yeah, McAvoy's analysis can't be that Neo Neo is beautiful. No, you know, we have to. You know, no, McAvoy's analysis can never dovetail with our. Yes. Which is one of the reasons we've delayed it a little. You know, like we've got to get that. But they've got to give him a contract to look at it right away. I'll have Paul send him a... The reason we asked for the resume is because that was requested by uh, KGC. Yeah, but, but getting back to this issue, uh, I think Greg has it for a number of fronts. Greg has a valid point. Is First of all, it's uh, simply, simply going to the fact that Greg Greg going to these people who are going to have to pay for say, yes, but there's this stock in this entity and this is going to, I mean, just simply collecting the money is important for you to know. Second thing is the blameworthiness. Whenever you have an issue like this, you know, some people are blameworthy and one of the ways to accept the blame is to uh, uh, make up for it. But there's one but, but it's restitution, essentially. It's to pay for, uh, it's to pay what the business is going to have the following perspective. Let's say that when the dust settles, they can let's use different numbers. Yeah. Okay. So, well, well, actually, all those parties, I think. But, but if the business sees a dollar walked off the site, and the, and, and the, the person that they're looking at all this stuff for and say, okay, that benefited this person down here, and they're only going to contribute some percentage, which means 10 cents. The business is going to look at it and say, that's, that's bullshit, I think. So you can just say one more time. If a dollar walked off the site, and the person that they're all seeing is responsible for getting that dollar off the site only reimburses the business for 10 cents, I think they're going to say, that's bullshit. I think, I personally think they're going to have, they're going to have So what, what do they want to do then? They just want to blow this whole thing up to where they just blow everything out and everybody gets hurt. And I don't know. I'm just, just, just okay. common sense. Think about it. The, I'm, the thinking business, of, I'm thinking of that, and I'm also thinking that if everything gets blown out of the water, it scamps to go down the drain. You'd be AP. I don't know what they I, do. I, I mean, everybody. I hear you. Okay. But that still doesn't, that still, what you're trying to, I see what you're trying to do. You're saying, look, this, this, this tool is used longer and it's, and it's been doing business, right? So that has to be taken into consideration. I get your point. But, does, there's still this perspective of, well, in your mind, there's no distinction between that and money that came off just for you. And I'm saying, you may see it the same, but I guarantee you other people don't see it that way. And so, if you end up contributing, however you end up contributing, you know, a dollar, and there was ten dollars that came off, I, I, I could see parties involved saying, this is bullshit. I don't intend to contribute one dollar or ten dollars. Okay. Okay. So, but I need to see a number. I just need to see a number that you're going to yeah, come up with. Let's say it's ten million. Oh, it is. I think that for probably worst case, probably. I mean, the worst case is the sixteen. That is a very fixed possibility. They used to just let you get it down to five. Is what you said. Now, 
Yeah. Depending on so creative we get, right. could go low. Well, so right. I, I think that five is a little optimistic, personally. I think that the, probably the end, it will end between five and ten, but I think that mention ten is a possibility. Now, certainly, if they reimburse the same way they reimbursed the last one, we'd be above 16. There, you know, we are uh, already finding ways to reduce the thing. He could be a good guy in the last one. You know, a million dollars. No money was ever stolen on the side. You know, cool just won the money and we it. Or just moved it to corporate accounts and stuff. I mean, there's no money ever diverted. So it was much easier, you know, to be a guy because it didn't cost the business that much. This, this one, the money is just gone. Some that was withdrawn, more, I think actually more of it, at least the way it falls, is the sort of spread. You know, there's little transfers going everywhere. And uh, so the money isn't there, uh, so we have no choice but to. But whether it's, but whether it's 5, 10, 11, 9, 7, whatever, I mean, so it makes it. And, and, and so, you know, my, my, you know, my thought is, is that as, as, as more, as the summer's moving around, I keep asking for more information, you know, to help be more specific about what, where can you make a very solid argument that says, look, there was no auto tool connected during that session. It's ridiculous to include it. Yeah. So, you know, that number has swung pretty well. That number has swung from a little bit less than uh, 16. Is to, to something you know in the five-ish range, then then when you get more data, you say, well, that's a little too aggressive, and it moves up. And so there's still more data coming, and that number's going to move around. But I but I, but I think that it's it's not an unreasonable thing to just for sake of discussion say, let's just use ten, assume it's ten. Now what? Well, happens to be less, so well, it'll, it'll less and it'll cost everybody less. But but I'm, I mean I think I'm just stating the yeah, obvious. I mean you tell me if you if you disagree, but if the business, if the business is looking at all this, if, if this Paul guy is looking at all this and, and he sees that a hundred bucks went to this Russ guy, and Russ ends up paying fifty cents in the dollar for the money that went out, I, I think he's going to say, "Well, fuck it." But, you know, I just feel that all of the areas are the ones that only ones, maybe Jim, concentrate on you. Paul, like we had that call with him on Friday, and then he turned away. So anyway, he's one. Uh, now, what I told him, of course, is just to say, we'll get this thing paid for. How come that rate this? We're get this paid for. Well, here's, so, so this especially this especially works if, if, if SGS shareholders don't have to pay anything. And this is the only people in the business is maybe Paul. And you know, the problem is you've got this Yuri guy who's pulling all this data and seeing all this stuff. Coming conclusions, potentially even calls. I think that too. I, I could believe that Yuri calls him. Well, in any case, for, so forget that angle. If, if you know, Yuri is just, I mean, I think you can just see. It. Look at what he did when the AP stuff was gone. He was the house, so you can assume he's doing the same thing. And you know he talks to Jim. So, how's Jim not going to have his perspective of thinking that, regardless of what names are released, if Yuri is saying, look, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing. And the story is that, no, so it's computer guy. So, what if we put it on the computer guy? I think it, 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 it helps. I think it helps. Well, it sounds you're going to have to go. Is there a way to refer it? No, I don't. I know the story is, but no, that's the kind of, whatever that story is, for that audience, we're saying the thing. You can't release his name because people know his name. Nobody wants to release it. The only person that's happy to release it is the state. Nobody better. No, there's nobody better than except for his location in the states. Yeah. But if you don't release names, it doesn't matter. But you know, if you just told Jim or Yuri, if you told Yuri or Jim or somebody, I mean, he was, he, 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 he is, he does everything for me. He does all the stuff. He knows all the accounts. He is the one that, you know, I said, hey, just think we're working. Take a look at it. He went in and fixed it. And that could actually be the story with Trevor Newton. I don't think he took Phil, but I think oh, you mean for Russell. Yeah. This is the test. Okay. So, but getting back to what uh, Greg is saying. Uh, I mean, the two assets, I think, that are relevant, most, well, there's, there's three different asset pools here, Russ. First is, like, your personal stuff, unrelated to the business. Then there's uh, the ex capital stock, which you got it because of this. And that's not the only stock that you got because of this. You got the stock in Craig's new company, which doesn't have value yet, Iovation. 
as a result of it. There are, there are three different places. I, mean, I, I know the top from you is that you put everything you've got into this new business. But I do think it's a, it's a good story and a fair thing to do to say that some portion of some amount you pay back are bearing the upfront cost. Right now, ideally, we have a situation, okay, $10 million. Jim, you're liable for any out of the 10 business. You weren't at fault, but you didn't get profit from this, and there's always a risk when you buy, you pay X. And then Russ says, okay, I'll pay the rest. I mean, and that's also sort of this issue that I uh, uh, don't know what the liability is even to be up with our number and our argument. It's still going to be an argument. No the risk, because we're going to try to cut it low, lower. It's always a chance that you know, people are annoyed. First, it's just a little death with that number. I don't think they realize it's that high. Now, could, I mean, as this number comes down, that number will come down, maybe. Like I said, it's possible based on the session that it could go up. I think that person thinks that they, if they were to, I think that person thinks that if they were to get back fifty to seventy five thousand dollars would be up and you're way up, way above something like that. So, I mean, what can we, what can we do? Come back, come back with proposals. I think you need to come back with a number or something first. I'll check where you've got to. Well, we're starting off with this idea of 10. Uh, I Greg said he thinks he can get it to 5. I agree. It's right, but that doesn't mean the business will swallow. What I'm saying is I think you can make it an aggressive argument and, and 5, 6 range. You can make a, you know, on the conservative side, you know, the upper end of the, of the range is. And so the business is going to decide, you know, it's got to go and make an argument to the KGC, and it's also got to stand up to potential scrutiny when the auditors come in and say, okay, now somebody did. And so they just have to pick where in that continuum they think is. And so, yeah, I, I do think that if the business wants to be ultra aggressive about it, you, you know, you can make an argument. I don't know if they're going to be comfortable. So I think the middle of the road one, just to take a discussion, is reasonable, right? If you assume how the number to start with, put it in the realm of, you know, some, some. Fixing a number as a point of reference yeah. so that there's. Yeah, do it five. Say, what if it's ten? What if it's five? And then, how does it work? So let's hope it's five. Nobody wants it to be. I think everybody's agreeable that there's got to, whatever the number comes to, that there's going to be a resolution to how we all pay it. That's, we just have to come to a way of getting it to where it's hushed and no names. I'm, well, I'm not there. What do you mean? I feel different. Well, what? I think what you just suggested is, regardless of what the number is, that it's just going to be a percentage. I just think that's bullshit. So, in other words, if the, if, if it's hypothetical, if the business, if it actually costs the business a million bucks, if it costs the business a million, I pay the whole million. So okay. I, okay. Well, then, then, then I feel different. Okay. So what I thought I heard you communicating yeah. is that whatever the number. No, is, I just said that whatever it is, we'll figure out something. That's all. That's all. So there you said it. Okay. So so how about this? How about think about what what is the what 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 is the number where regardless of what the business pays you feel like hey this is what needs to come back and 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 uh, and then, uh, you know so if it got bigger then it'd be a percentage follow me so you just you just you're talking about a floor yeah with a, with an regardless of what, regardless of what it is you know so you, so I'm not, so I'm not, there'd be a good example regardless of what the number is guys hey I, I'm saying I you know for, if it was a million I would say no no one has to pay off it. Okay, well, what about two, three, four, I mean, where, you know, what happens? Now, one thing, I don't know if you've got any, but any that you can put in up front, <laughs> that obviously would, I don't know if you could, uh, <laughs> but that would go a long way to satisfying. Do you think Greg's going to be put? I'm going to say the price is too standard. Black? No, I understand what you're saying. Greg is probably going to have to come out some money on the top. Uh, no? I mean, I just, I mean, the, Greg, I'm sure it's all the right way, but you've heard it in my voice, but to say that you're out of pocket a bit will greatly help in getting a cast up for telling Jim, working on that. But I bet, you know, I mean, if you look at the value that you've gotten out of it, you lean Greg for not taking more off the table than you should have. That's the Whoever the person was that made the call to Tony probably caused us to lose our other business. We'll probably be shutting it down in a week or so. That person that made that call cost us a lot of money, probably. I don't know who it was. I agree. But that person probably cost us our business realistically within the next two weeks. Whoever that person was. 
So I don't know who it was. Well, that person was just stupid because I think I know who it was. I still think I know who it was, but I don't know. That person was just absolute complete moron. Just hurt the situation. Fortunately, I'm going to guess it was Ryan Gladwin, and then another call just said, "Great, do anything in the U.S. Anything in the U.S. Never going to happen." Blah blah blah. Waste of time. Hello. Let me tell you what. Hey, which was one of us? What I think means. Uh, what? Just in the meeting right now. What's going on? The thing I'm in the back of my mind, and now I'm getting super paranoid. Well, go ahead. Well, have you have you talked to anyone yet? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. That's about it. If there's anybody who wants to give anything, just let me know. You know, if there's anybody who wants to come, let me know. Um, just give me a call. You know, tell me if there's anybody that does. Okay. <laughs> if you know any of them that know and they want to contribute something, just pick it up from your chat box. Okay. Okay. If there's anybody, then just, just ask them, that's all. Okay, thanks, Rich. You think you can get it down into the five range here? I mean, I'll, I'll use my stop I've got. I mean, I just don't have any money, though. Serious? Tell you. It's, you know, and probably a phone call. I mean, I'm, we probably have some investors that could have that were potentially really good. This fucking phone call somebody made. I don't know who did it. I don't know who went into Tony and did this. I have no idea, but boy, that would be with us. I mean, we might just, uh, I don't know. Mechanism to pay back. That would be the most important thing to get. Coming up with cash to take care of that issue is, is easier to do if it's not just an expense that's never coming back. Right? If there's mechanism to stop being able to where you can go back. So I think I think that helps. You know. okay. What did you two just talk about? Well, it's easy. It's just asking. What, is, what, is it, what are we asking for? <laughs> huh? We haven't determined what the dollar amount. How are we supposed to? Along with that. And uh, what I think is would be helpful is to do both uh, short term and a long term contribution. Short term, I think you're right. The story is look, I've got no one. Put it all effort. Frankly, if you were to come up with something, even a nominal amount, I think in 45 days I can scrum just X. Whatever that is, it's something. I think it goes somewhere. Long term, Part. And basically, all you have is to say that uh, uh, well, not all. Well, you can't do that. So pay. now we need to go to the stock part. Like me and George were talking before you came in. So you can't do what? Come up with anything for them right now in, in the short term. Right. So second piece, and I'm not saying that you'd be millions of dollars. I'm asking. Drop in the bucket, but it shows something. Shows that you know some nominal amount. That would be really good, except the fact is I had a guy in the office borrow twenty thousand in his house just two days before I left just to pay some other stuff. So, it's so you've got zero. So yeah. The, so your comment is you've got zero now. And then the next question is on the long term, is there some way to pay back the people who put up this money? Basically, it's big. The big people like that I see. Is there maybe someone? Are you talking about paying back 100% of this money, or are you talking about everybody else taking a piece of this loss? What are you talking about? Not paying back. Oh. They're paying back some of it. To, so of course. Say that, yes, of course. So like take your staff to stock, or yes. you know, any dividends from that. Yes. It goes through. Now, another thing that's possible is this uh, the elevation piece. And that's between you guys. But you got to look Greg in the eye and say that you've earned that thing out of this company. Yeah. Why do you think that's an issue? Only because you got in this business. The two things you got for this business were everybody here, including all the shareholders, 
got a lot out of the stock play public IPO for $400 million. That part was due to a lot of things that went on that weren't supposed to go on in the beginning. We're not going, I'm not going back and saying, guys, I, you guys all got this because of that, and you need to contribute here. So for me to look him in the eyes and say that I sh shouldn't get that is, I mean, my God, guys. For, uh, Going on a little bit, you can't. No, sure there are. But no, we, 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 we talked about the stock piece. And you said fine. So every number is to put in some energy. Business, so my thought is that if the hypothetical, if the business ate it, mm -hmm. then whatever this entity is that's created it, that has that it's stock in it, it pays the business until some numbers hit, and then it goes to rest. So there's, there's upside. Um, if it caps it, does it, you know, the point is it gets pointed to wherever it is. Okay. I still think X caps has to share in some of this because it was there in the beginning. I still think APUV brand new one now has to share in a little bit of this too. I think the client should pay. I didn't tell him not to tell him. No, I think I think when the client was no longer supported, the assumption is okay, well it's dead. Supported when you took over from Don? Absolutely was. I don't remember the exact date. Well, I can tell you that it was absolutely supported when Yuri took it over from Don. So, well, other than, I mean, so we've mentioned these guys. So, okay, so we've talked about the fact that it's caps that shares could be put in this thing. Something. So if the number is 10, if the number is 10, if the business pays back 10, and immediate contribution is zero, what, what percentage of the 10 is a long-term contribution? So as dividends flow out of XCAPSA, wherever it came from, did it, you know, dividends to this entity get pointed to pay back how much of the 10? Why are you asking this until you tell me what everybody's contribution, everybody's contribution is here? Everybody's, including XCAPSA or AP? That's what I'm talking about. Well, what, what do you think there should be first? I think realistically, it's like we're in the hour. We're talking about the long term. Long term. Someone, someone's, someone's paying. Obviously, someone has to pay. And who's responsible for the whole thing? Not just long term, but better. who's long term, the whole thing together. Whoever has to pay in the beginning. What are the? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So if so, if the business pays ten, I'm not talking about who who comes up with the money to take care of the ten. Okay. So that's. We know that. Okay. You can't you, you can't put anything in. Okay. So your contribution is at zero. I'm talking about the long term. If this guy reaches in his pocket and says, "Here's ten million dollars," that to if the bill's ten million, what do you think each person's contribution should be? If it was ten, um, let me ask Dan first. If you if it was ten, what is what do you think the contribution should be from each entity? Well, I I don't know why I'm fixated on this, but I just feel like the dark and I. I feel like the whole E-World group should put their stock in. Like these guys were guys on the casino side. E-World had nothing to do with this. E they, they, e Fuck! If they, they had put the fucking guys that made the fucking software up there in the beginning and put them in there, that's how it all started. E-World did the e -world guys up there got stuck didn't even know about it other than one other person. They did not one person know about it. And you keep wanting to throw these E-World guys into it. That's not right. I agree. Okay. So I, I feel like that they're more helpful. I just feel like that they they manufactured this to get the IPO value up, and they were the biggest beneficiary. They manufactured it to get the IPO up. Who did? They, this tool was used in part to get the IPO value up, and people who mainly benefited from that IPO was the e -world. It wasn't. Those people, no, it wasn't. Those, the E-World people got bought out, came down, and were lied to in Aruba about what the company was worth when they brought Jim Ryan down when he took the company over to begin with. And they said, either we've got to do this or we've got to close it down. We're going to give you this X amount for it, and that's it. Then he took it public after that. That's not what happened. I mean, let's make this thing right what's right here, but that's not what I'm... Jim Ryan came to a room with me and Mansoor. They lied to us I on what... I mean, we, we did okay. I'm not arguing, and we didn't do okay. But the people went public after that. Right. It was a year and a half after I that. I think that they're more helpful in the past. Who is? You I, so, I, I know you feel that way. I don't know why you feel that way. Yeah, I and, and don't know. I, it, 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 I just find it hard to believe. The people, the shareholders this came out lying. Because these people directly benefited from this play. Plans for the money. Come on. If 
telling me that using this tool you didn't transfer all these you wrote guys money? Absolutely not. And you can bet me money and we can go in there. Absolutely not. You can bet me you can bet me everything that we both will make for the rest of our lives. So there's going to be no transfers. To there's money. absolutely not none. None from your account to pay. There's none. None to us. There's none. None. I just told you there's none. Not, not consistent. I'm trying to ask me for the time. Dan, I'm telling you the truth here. There's none that you will be. I thought there was some money transferred to Monster. The fucking money. Didn't you tell me what the money to Monster was? The money to Monster was to pay host payments, if that's what you're talking about. There was never no money to Monster to cash out. Never. Not a penny. Oh, that's what you're thinking. Yeah, maybe that's it. You guys got to stop this evil stuff. The, the stockholders, when you took the public, shared way better value than what the e world guys got for what they were supposed to have had. The e world guys were supposed to have 16% of the rate wrapped up. Well, we were told we couldn't after that deal was made. Is that right or not? I Okay, so. I, this is one of the few things I agree with you on. Okay, I'll tell you right, so, but, if, treat, but if you exclude that group, I feel like, uh, hope, oh, now, it should, it's got to be enough to, uh, I, I mean, this is what you're, what you, what you're, you're jumping past the, the, whatever the number is to how long can you take to pay back, and is it reasonable, and right, that's what you're jumping to. You're, you're, you're jumping to the conclusion of, well, this, 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 this stock is, whatever percentage it is. And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be 5% of payments and therefore it's going to take, you know, a long time to pay. I think that's what you're jumping to. And I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm jumping to the, you know, what what amount of percent. Do okay. you think it's really going to be that high? Time? I don't know how else to say this. So I think it depends within the, really, within the possibilities. Okay. So I think that that's... But are you going to talk about all the percent? Because that's really going to be it. Okay. I don't think that, I don't think even the statement earlier of, of you know one one five and others are I mean any number should be mentioned. If there's a number mentioned, I think it should be more along the lines of look, there there are there are a couple of accounts that that you know, are that are going to get you know as much as fifty thousand or more, and there are accounts that have less than a dollar coming to them, but every penny's coming back. A statement like that, I could see, but but even hinting at the magnitude of this is, is, a, is a very bad thing. Like no, yeah. let them know the magnets are good. You do, you just. But 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 anyway. So I I know you you, you nobody knows what this number is going to be. So even this morning I asked Dan for some more information about sessions because if I know right now I only know either either just start date or just end date on these sessions and there and some of them are close enough together that I mean, that might make a big difference. If I can absolutely know beginning and end date of some of these sessions, and I can say that absolutely not. There was no auto monster logged in during during that time. It has to be excluded, right? Um, there may be some that that have longer sessions that overlap, but today I'm excluding, so it could go up, it could go down. I mean and so then the businesses need to look at all these different ways to cut it. And um, and decide, you know, which what what, what they feel is because this isn't this isn't an exact Thing. You know, I'll just give you an example. We have for this for this uh, audit monster thing. Elevation knows that second is connected to the site. Don't know what table it washed, and we don't know when it left. So now, what does the business have to do? Well, the business has to say every table for an indefinite period of time. Well, that would be one way to do it. Another way to say pick a number: twelve hours, nine hours, six hours. Three hours. What is the window that you're going to go and sit down with the KGC and say, okay, here's all our data. This, these are facts. I mean, indisputable. You send anyone in the world into audit all you want. These are the absolute facts. These are the assumptions that we that we use. Right? And so the business has to, you know, come up with their, their position and make a difference. If they say 12 hours versus You don't have a log out of time? No. Automation so, doesn't, you have to look at what, what, what Iovation does. Iovation doesn't. Iovation is only interested in making associations between the any money transfer the duration of the transaction. I know, I know. 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 I know
there are so to say that the I didn't mean to yell at you, but no. Right. I understand you're defending them and yeah. okay. there's so appreciation you appreciate would help if there are other people. In all the yeah. 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 That's would help I know yeah. there is one. Going back forever. Okay. You follow me? Yeah, so you got your per your It's business. a financial system. So financial transactions. The scabs of people are the ones benefit from the IPO, not yes. us. They came in and bought us out before but they knew. You know, they told us. Detail, they told us. They said we might IPO at the very most. Damn. You know, Listen to what we hear. So you see, when we they said the very most we can IPO for would be 80 to 100 million. That's what they told us. They said we have to buy you out though before we do it. Oh, we got to close the business. So what? Jim Ryan came to Aruba with him and told me and my sort. And I carried our hands and said either this, do this, or we got to close. IPO is going to be 80 to 100 million. We're going to 100 million. So they got the benefit of that. We didn't get the benefit of that. I have the beginning section of the table. That's where I think X Capsule has got to be responsible for some of this. It was there. It was there at the beginning. It helped build that thing to that 400 million. Not the 100 million. They lied to us and told us. It got to the 400 million. That's how these guys got it. That's how all the shareholders. That's how he got 20% of 400 million, not 100 million. We've made our value. And that's Capsa was there. Jeff Ryan was there. They didn't tell them. They didn't tell them this code was there. You know, so, and I'm, I am responsible for some. I agree. To be able to make, you know, those lines, part of it is to understand what the differences are. So, for example, if the, if the difference, hypothetically, from going for, well, let's assume, let's assume it was paying for six hours, is a $6,000 difference from saying it was 12, well, fuck, I'll say 12, right? Right. I mean, so they, they need to understand all those course well, Conversely, enormous difference between, right? So that's the, that's the kind of stuff that's going on. So I think, I think what, what Dan is just saying is that, you know, so you know, could you make an argument to, to, to get it down lower? And that's, but, but now as more data is coming in, it might make it harder for me to help with the argument. Or easier. I'm not going to need more data. But, but I still see this, at least. And I'm going to make a difference in the I I I I have to win the battle. I know. But I think that, that there, there has to be, and maybe we just go away and think about it, but I think there just has to be some number that you say, well, whatever it is, that I should last year's small support. So, right, so, whether the, so independent of whether the business is 5, 10, 20. Well, why don't I just good. say that I'm responsible for the stock that I've got right Whatever it is, whatever it comes to over the course of time. Yeah, if you were to say that, I think that's fair. Like, I think I would, but frankly, I know that you're, or, I don't know why I keep on harping back to this, but I just feel like that you could share this with some other people. But I should share it with other people. ex should be responsible for some of this, and, sh and so should they be. No, I still think you're responsible. I don't think it's fair for, for you to give. I don't think it would be fair for you to give up your stock and somehow that it's caps of benefits from that. You know, no. It goes beyond the liability. I think what you just suggested is, is, is beyond. If you, if, 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 you, if you said, I'm giving up the stock. Up to a certain number. Yeah, that's it. I know that. Okay. Just, okay. Well, you said a second ago, was, I mean, uh, we're, up. And, and we're hopeful that we know that. We I want there to be some, some upside here. I think, I think. There, there's no question some, some money should come back. I think it's only, only right. Um, but once it's paid back, it doesn't, it, doesn't, it, just, uh, it just doesn't make any sense. It's not fair that now whatever that percentage is continues to... to that, 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 I don't agree with that. Okay. So, so, so you figure out a fair percentage of that and tell me what it is. Okay, I will do that. But figure and out a I fair percentage for ex capsa because ex capsa, no matter what you say, owes something here. So, so, so here, I'll tell you what, 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 what's going to happen for me. So I can't answer this because I, do, I have no clue because I'm not, I don't I know see that. the business side of the money transfer stuff, right? So the business has some inkling of what left the system and got to you. So I don't know what that number is. If it's, if it's a million bucks, well, it's a different with that. If it's 15 and, and this thing costs the business 10, 
I, I, I would argue that you have to pay a big percentage of the tax. That feels like. So that's so that's just how I would argue you do have to look at home. But what's we're talking about the burnout of the, the value of the shares, so that it might also look like you know as part of this, it would just make my life a lot easier is that you come up with something short term. No, you can't. You don't have it, right? Sell half your renovation shares. Greg can probably get a few hundred thousand from that. And we say, Russ doesn't have any money. He's begging. I don't want to sell those shares. I want to sell those shares for no reason. Everybody does. And he's getting old. Yeah, but I mean, let's look at the relative amount of shares, okay? So you have like 250,000 shares in there. I've got 12,000. I've put in as much time as you. You've got a disproportionate amount because you have this, because of your relationship with the world and its capsa. That's the reason. You were paying for 250,000 shares. Half of those shares are months first. Then you need no know I'm not arguing. Okay. So no, but all I'm saying is you've got a disproportionately larger amount than anybody else because of the relationship to the business, which is fine. And I helped grow the business right. to a $400 million IPO. That's true. But all I'm saying is, is that that's, in my book, I view those violation shares as similar to the XCAPS shares. They're products of your involvement. Can we agree that that issue won't be settled up? Avoid. I tell you, you just make some real serious progress. I tell you what, 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 what probably helps you is player accounts that he marked add up to not quite seven percent of the of the. So the reason I use the percentage is this the player accounts there. Right. That's good. So the numbers, if the number is five million, that's, that's a big contribution right there. That all adds to this. So what? So, uh, so I think this is a, this is. Part of it is to say the number is this, but you know there are some players he's just personally taking responsibility for. That's the A number. Oh, that goes a long way. I agree. All day, Wild Burn called us, guys. We did all this research. We went through every one. Your times with this person. You want? Yeah, but don't. Right. But don't tell the world that's what you're going to do. I didn't say. I don't want tell the Jim Ryan to think that it's out of pocket. You're you're taking care of the people directly. And, I'm and not going to tell the world, but I just said that. Okay. 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 The biggest thing we disagree on is that scams. Jim Ryan owes some of this. Okay. Well, let me, let me just, uh, I, I can't help you understand what I'm trying to say here. I don't know if you do. Great. It, I, it, I it, it, it's, it's very simple. If, if a hundred bucks walked off the site, and 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 what what and the cost to the business is 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 two hundred. I feel better about the business, you know, contributing a significant percentage of that. If conversely, two bucks walked off the site, and the live and the actual cost to the business is going to be a buck, it's just hard for me to swallow that 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 you wouldn't pay at all because more than twice of that walked off the site. And, and in my mind, it's irrelevant what it was, what it was used for. Yeah, as it has but it's, yeah, I, preliminary numbers indicate it's much more like the former. I'm, 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 I'm just, okay, I'm going to come. You know, the withdrawal seemed to be limited and, you know, as you said, for okay. an this has been, well, now, okay. Sorry. So if you said, no, no. The number's five. Yeah, that's what I think it's more like, five or seven. And then, then, I, feel, then I feel different about it. But if the cost of the business is going to be ten and five walked off, it's different. Let me ask you this. When we measure the cost of the business, Greg, yes, no. when we measure the business, that is if you credit their account, wrong. So the actual cost is <laughs> the most of the use by the way of the So, 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 how does that work? So I get what you're going to say. So, my, my first question is that it's it's part of our program difficult to... Hello? To, to put a finger on. Hello? Which I'll explain. And yes. Yeah, you, I'm still waiting for a call back from Jack McCollin. Can you call me back in about an hour? It's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow, though. Y yes. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, guys. So, 
so there's there's two parts to this. Let's say the business is in the whole hundred accounts, it's it, you know, it's in their account. Okay. Two things happen. One, the easy part is after some period of time, some of that never no one ever claimed, went after, did anything with it, comes out of it. Right. Okay. Well it's not the same anymore. I don't know how you feel about this, but that didn't actually cost the business anything. It's a full I would I would say did that, I, I personally would say, well, that should be considered. That's just my opinion. Okay. Now, the part that's difficult is, well, that yes, some of those monies walk off the site and it's a real and significant cost. But guess what? It's at least 10% higher than what actually walked off because of processing and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Similarly, uh, and I'm not saying to, to necessarily consider that cost, although maybe someone wants to argue to do that. What I'm saying is, there's, there's an additional cost of money that walks off, but there's also a benefit in theory of money that stayed in and moved around because it got turned into rate. Right. But that's also messy because, well, if a player would have played anyway, that's not incremental revenue. You follow me? No. So, so here's a player that it currently has no money, like a... Like, uh, Take the first guy, Prelog. Yeah. Uh, Prelog Freeman. Prelog Freeman. So he's got no money inside, 51 cents. And he's a high enough player. He ain't playing for 51 cents. Right. Okay. You put money in his account, one of two things happen. Either walks with it. If you put in 160,000, mm -hmm. he walks and the business has to pay whatever the percentage is on that. It's not quite the same size. One is an additional cost to get in the other side. Right? right. Here's the next one. This Tom guy. He's got money on the system, and so putting more in his account, he may not play anymore. So, so to, to, to take out of the liability rate from that player is just, you know, it's, it's just messy. You, you, it's hard to tell what you were seeing to get into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just trying. I'm, I'm so my, so my, my point here is, I would personally say, whatever the, whatever the incremental rate impact is, mm -hmm. and whatever the incremental cost impact of getting money off the site is, I would say ignore that. There's going to be some incremental cost negative to getting money off the site. There's going to be some incremental benefit, positive, for, for, for additional play that might get created. Forget it. Don't count either one. That's a wash. But the one that I would argue for, and I don't know how you feel about this, Dan, is if the business put $10 million into accounts, and after six months or whatever their cutoff is, they go back, they know the 1,200 accounts they transfer to, some have never moved, it comes back. No, and that's the way I see that. That's the breakage factor. The way I see that factoring in as a practical matter is when we negotiate. Jim, six months later, later. Yeah. this will be paid back to you. Now this is where, with Russ out here, I can be more passionate about something. This, this, this is where I, 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 I think, I, I personally think, that it's that it's cash that should, should help significantly on the cash flow piece of it. Because there's money sitting in the bank. Fucking suck it all over. So, so what I would personally do is, is I would do a, uh, an adjustment based on player deposits mm -hmm. and a significant one. So there's a closing adjustment. Post-closing adjustment? Yeah. And so now a whole bunch of cash goes over to these guys so they can swallow whatever the fuck damage this thing does. They hold down the marking, all those things they're doing. And then... The um, recover the break. Mm -hmm. and, and, and also repayment. So there still could be the separate discussion that says, hypothetically, they sent over five. Right. Okay. I would argue, well, whatever Russ's piece is of the, of the cash, or the business deal over here, has to pay whatever percentage of that is done. Right. And then it has to start paying the business until it hits whatever the other piece. Right. And, and that's how I would do it. But we mine is needed, and maybe, you know, and maybe you're me say, look, I'm partially responsible for this. That, 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 that software was created under my watch, and when it was turned off, you know, I wasn't smart enough to say turn it off. And also, when the when the AP, that would have thought about the fact that, gosh, I wonder if there's any possible. So that's that's me. And and all that is, you know, stuff you talk about. Yeah. So something. And I don't I don't want to have to be such a. What's the issue? Oh. The, the, the short term where the money comes from. Well, it seems like that uh, what we need to do is, first of all, everybody's in agreement with uh, 
we have to really try and silence any potential leaks. Talk to everyone, make sure they say nothing. Second is we have already get this dollar amount down. Absolute maximum I spent. Let me ask I looked at it one way. The players owe the second. Yeah, let me just, just to show you how <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a conversation this week with anybody that independent of, uh, of, of Brett talking and Yuri might have given somebody this? You know, so they posted them on the slides one night. Now, they, they posted it on Andy Hammer. Trampoline. We think you're the, we think you're the super unit. They posted on Andy Play. Did he play at the end? Did you see it? No, I don't follow that shit. I mean, I just don't think they do it. Yeah, if you slice them this way, the players owe $2 million. I like that one. Not recently. Yeah. Okay. So nothing happened this week that you would put your fingers in. Okay. What are you talking about, Sam? No. And the 20 number, though, the 20, I mean, that's a wrong number. But it does. I'm, I'm just, I'm, this is the, you know, I'm always just I don't want to pay, and right. this is Mark. Yeah. So these are the ones that we don't have to pay. Right. I'm always interested in trying to figure out you know, who's talking to whom. Well, somebody out there is bad talking. If they called Tony yesterday, that's two days ago. That's bad. Let, let me give you the example. That's really Greg. bad. I called Greg and I said, how are things going? Da, 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 da. What do you know about? I'm reaching out to Greg and I'm asking him specific questions. You told me. I just thought of something. You told me over a week ago you talked to Jim Ryan and you said, how are things going? He, he said, not good. There's 20 million reasons why. Okay. Okay. Ten million reasons why. Ten million reasons. What he said to me was, "There's a ten million dollar, new ten million dollar problem." This is no sir. Don't call other people. Did you want to talk to him? What Jim said that I called Jim about. Maybe that your suggestion may have been uh, on my own about the, the software issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, we then started to talk about where the uh, revisions were going on the, on the documents. And because we were trying to get back to do the software with them to do the uh, for California. Was going out to meet with your this is actually this is going to happen in California, guys. And it's feasible that it, it is happens. going to happen. In the UIGA bill, there's a cutout. There is no, interest rate. Let me explain that in just a second. And I asked him how it was going, and he said, "Well, that part part." going on a little slowly, but there's a new problem. That's exactly what he said. And I said, okay. I didn't feel like that. I asked him about it on an open line. And I never told Sandy anything about this problem until yesterday, the first time, right? Which problem? Oh, so I, I didn't know no, crap no. about it until after your discussion with Tony. Yes. So I, I had no idea. Um, it's so well clear by changing subjects for the moment. Wednesday. Coming up, Bill will be introduced in the California Sun. That will provide, if it ever got free, card rooms in California will be licensed to operate online poker. So that's what the bill's basically going to say. Found out about this yesterday. You mean what we are true? Does he have to be able to do the card room? My question came down to Bill will be good with licensing software. That well, we were trying to work a deal with you, but somebody made a call to Tony in between and, and told them that they had somebody to do it that I could never get licensed, and there's 20 million reasons why I'm not, and it'll be coming out in a few weeks. Yeah, we're sitting there. And we're sitting I don't know who this was. I mean, Tony is, if Tony is, if, 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 if it's coming to me. How and we're, we're, we're trying to put together a process which would benefit X Capsule. Couldn't be cookie cutter. I'm just, when I talk to Cookie, I'm just going to say to him, when, can we talk to Tony lately? I've had a call. Could be cookie. I mean, I'm, Jim just wouldn't say that. I mean, I mean, Tony, it's not. I have a cookie I have a cookie would have no access. I'll, I'll probably say, you know. I, don't, I, mean, I, I just think it's got to be. I think, I still think. <laughs> I still, think it's, I still think it's Jim Ryan because has my best interest of He's a friend of mine. I think it's Jim Ryan because when I said Jim Ryan, he's the only one that didn't say no. He just sat there quiet. The other one too said no, it's, it's not that person. And then when I got to Jim Ryan, he's just quiet. And he says, I'm surprised he wouldn't tell you to start with. 
and, and I was worried that I said that now I'm being super. The two billion dollar business over here, if you just took five percent, I mean it's a two billion dollar business. It's going to happen. I mean, the proposal we had was great, but somebody bad enough to, to Tony, and I don't know how Tony feels about us now. They walk, the guy that's taking the bill to the legislature when he asked him, he stood up. He had to, we had a two-hour meeting. He said, lock these guys in our he room. He said, lock these four guys, guys in the room and don't let them out until we get this thing done. But I don't know how Tony feels because of his call he had, so and I don't know how to handle it because I don't know how Tony has to be told it. Best interest of the staff, so Tony, this is why I think it's Jim Ryan because he said, "Why don't you make a deal with your software provider?" That's exactly what he's. Why don't you make a deal with them? And maybe he said, "Maybe why don't you make a deal with them?" And then they won't fight you. Wow, I can't believe Jerry would do that. That's just amazing. I would be surprised. The thing is, that the, I mean, for this type of thing, it's got to be a California business. It has to be somebody based in California. Absolutely. They're not going to do that. The servers are going to have to be in California. There's going to be a lot of... Yeah, and they need, they need a lot of help. They need Tony to help with his legislature. Already, they needed stuff that we told them that they needed to put into their bill that Tony needs to amend for them already. Everything that we had, they loved. I mean, they were, they were in love with everything here. They were like... They're really good job. Yeah. Do, do you want uh, David to be here? I do. Do you want me to give you back? The spec player list with the ones marked on it. It's 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 yeah, so so give me a. We, we could use that number. Okay, that's it. I think we can get So I would appreciate. Already, already. Have you guys had any issues with PSA uh, in the laptops? I heard. It's, I haven't had any either, but I heard some story. Um, no, no, I haven't. Or shall I? Can't find the PSA. I heard a story on. And the obfuscating laptops and mirroring hard drives. Wait, Wait a minute. Where did you hear this from? I told you about it. You are. It seems ridiculous. And, you know, they have one get away. Yeah, they do. No, no, no. That's my opinion. 
No, trans there's a lot of transfers that go. Dewdrop is doing Costco. He wanted $10,000. I don't even know what he's doing there. Dewey's never had no big transfers in there. Oh, who we opened Bet 21? Dewey, I gave him $100,000 to give his guys that he sent back. That's all that was. So Dewdrop's nothing. That's what, Bet 21, he had a bunch of, like, uh, guys that were going to be affiliates. I, I know. Yeah. I'll, I'll, so, basically, you could say, I mean, Kids 55 and August 17th are the only one. Okay. And there's no one on this list that isn't you. These are all you. Oh no, no. You said you know, no, you said this is Houston Curtis, and you said this is the Senate guy. Yeah. And you did are, and you did play these accounts, but they don't know about it, so you said. Yeah, they don't even know about it. Okay. Houston Curtis thinks I just So you got that then? I got Curtis. What's the other one, Dennis? H Danny, Danny underscore Curtis. I got that. Yeah. And Danny Boy fifty five. He said it was a guy named Dennis. No, Dennis. N O V I N S K E Y. And they didn't even know that you were playing their accounts? No, Houston Curtis, I told him, I said, Houston's our production guy, and we needed money. And I said, Houston, I'm just going to put some money that got into your account. And I played his account one, and he thought I just deposited it. That's all it was. It was account list number one. It was close. But as far as Freddie B and Bonnie, Travis will say that he just told him to take it off for me. I mean, if you have to use, if you have to, I don't know if you have to. If you have to Some use a name to, to Yuri, if you have to say that to Yuri or something. Yuri, I don't think we'll need a name for. The only one that we need a name for is for Norton. What do, what do you actually need besides the name? Do you need something in writing? Something? You know, after we figure out what the story is and get him to have a statement that totally corroborates it. I have, I have a question that will help me. I don't know if you can answer it. Though, in, over the last two years, when this auto monster thing was used, that, that, that was it. Like, what's the longest? I mean, what, what, what would be typical, like, length of it? One hour. I mean, Tom Eck, we're doing the hand history right now. They all show you the link. Oh, no. I'm not talking about the play session. I'm talking about if you sat down and you had five or six play sessions, you had the auto monster things running here the whole time. So I'm not talking about sitting at a table. I'm talking about sitting down total in an evening with the auto monster thing running. Still your answer is an hour? Two hours at the most, probably. I was sitting for those six, seven hours at a time. Chris can answer this a lot, doesn't it? Uh, see, I pulled up the wrong file. You said it was obvious. Yes, indicated? Oh, but the, the names are too long to show that. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's a long name. Got it. Um, yeah, it's really unfortunate that, that when the auto monster thing walked off, because it makes it huge. But there are lots of, 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 of there are definitely days where there are play sessions all day long. So, you know, sure. I guess the question is, is what you log in with uh, Audit Monster to commence? A lot of times I didn't even log in with it. I just go that's, back. That's clear. That's an easy one. That, that, that's, that, that's easy to see. Well, let, me, let me just Our big one is there are times like you're playing with Audit Monster and you log out Audit Monster. Here's what, I don't even know. This might even be bad at the end. What I was doing is I actually would log in Audit Monster to like 10 games. But not play. That's actually okay. I, I, and I not play. See that. No, I'll show you. I see that. That's, yeah. that's actually that's, that's okay. The problem is you have to give something to Tom if you want to keep it. No, I can. It's no problem. And what I've done so far with me on Neil with him is it's all really good, so I'm going to give him some bad ones to where he says, well, these look a little suspicious, where they're not all good. Is that what you want, Brett? I don't know. Well, you don't want me to see the good report on me, I'll do it to you. No, we will wait and see. If they take too think early to tell. We have to decide what the story is. So, so here's an example. So these are this is all the information that we know here in Portland. It's a lot. Which is, I guess, you know. So this is just sorting stuff for me to do work. The profession detail is provided by the, 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 the. So on the snare side, we know 
the chart names, time spent in a millisecond, uh, IP address, the device number, the navigation number, the country it was in, region, city, the ISP that was being used. And what I was doing is, this is, this is a, an old version, I've got a better one, but the point is, you can see that, okay, here is a login, it is a fact, and, and, and after that login, there are these sessions, these are play sessions. I go in at, at these times. What are the times? Well, these are hours, three, four, seven, I just, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, you can zoom up here, more specific. There's a play session that started at 3, 12, 4, 7, 8, 11. Mm -hmm. So this, so this, this art monster thing logged in at 3.36. And before, just before that, the there, session there, was, there was a session. I don't know if it was, you know, if it ended before this. I bet I'm waiting for that detail. But there was another one at 4, another one at 7, another one at 8. Was it, and you and what I don't know is the art monster was up. Right. And so what you have to do is you have to make some assumptions and say, well, you assume it was on typically for two hours, three hours. Does somebody have a phone charger? I do. Okay. So you're, you know, so you're, you're, you're saying that, 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 that generally this was done in shorter stints of time? Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't, take, you wouldn't typically have the audit list around for too long. Just to get your damage done and just get out. I usually play an hour to two hours, you know, something like that. So what this would suggest is that on that date I showed you, it would suggest that that there were there were times throughout the day where you just played the battle. Mm -hmm. So here's December sixth. So a bunch of dates here on December sixth where there's nothing. Last time this audit thing logged in was on the 5th, but... I'm sorry, well, I went in 10 different games and didn't play any of them. I was it, you know. So this is what, this is the tricky part, again. So here's a, here's an auto monster login at 144 on December 3rd. Just prior to that, at 116 and 119, there was a play session. And here's another play session at 143. That would be another thing that was very helpful. Is there, is there typically, typically have the auto monster thing on and then go sit down? Or would you sit down and then turn on the other thing? Or is it always random? Help me. Do you know? Well, let me just think. I would typically sit down in the game first. See if there even was a game. Jump around. Okay. Sometimes so I wouldn't even turn it on. Sometimes I'd play for a half hour and turn it on. Sometimes I'd never turn it on. I'm just a friend. Do you have answers about, about these timestamps and if they're end or beginning and all that? And I, I did call all that messaging and uh, I could call, but it's going to be too late for today's run. I'll, I'll, I can't log in. It's, it's, it's uh, secured to my IP address. I, the only place I can log in is at work. I got it. Okay. So, so the sooner I have that, I'm kind of I'm at, I'm at a, a stopping point right now. I, I can't. I can call call. But he was actually going to take it even a step further and determine the duration of the Either way, the yeah, duration of the beginning is the same thing. Right, exactly. Perfect. Okay. Right. So I don't know if there's anything else that, 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 that we I need you on totally unrelated matters. I don't have Door to order. With a liquidator in place. Wait. We'll get the next one. There is actually a good restaurant at the airport. That's the one right before security. Yeah, it's called, uh, Is there an airline that goes out of L.A. late at night? Because Southwest don't go out past 945. We don't get back in until like 10 something on this late flight. Find L.A. or Vegas? Find L.A. because by the phone back to Vegas, they had every flight on last year. had to stop over in first because it took like seven hours. U.S. Air might have a flight out of a late flight. We can use the top of the computer on the top of the air desk. Uh, I can turn my laptop on when we get to the airport so that first job. Okay. Anyway, you know what I... Stanford's for this. Right. 
So what's the follow-up from here? Who's going to contact whom? Okay. Yeah, I think we'll first we'll call, get something up and out of the We're in a deep end, but what we have to do is we have to work on getting out. Uh, okay, what we're trying to do yeah. So what I'm trying to do is get, get more data to continue giving the business analysis capability. Then and, and slice it by literally by hour. So they can say how you know, if I look at it various ways, what does it do? Okay. Then um, uh, Paul is going to, to, to say, okay, I got this mathematician. So if I if I send them play sessions that I believe are effective and play sessions that I believe aren't, mm -hmm. math support that. So that again, follow me here. Does so the money transfer off the site? No. no. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, this is solely looking at the two types of play sessions. Okay. Suspected and looks okay. Got it. Okay. And hopefully, when he looks at it, he looks at the math. Well, this is after math avoids. 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 This is a quantitative, statistical variance kind of an analysis. Got it. Okay. You know, can a, can a player who is who's playing at a table three handed, you know, is that is that within how many sigma kind of expected, blah, blah, blah. So you know, if the, the slicing this by, you know, however they want to do, and it limits it, and you then take play sessions and send them back to the math guy, now look at this group and this group and tell me what you think. And hopefully the person says, oh, yeah. The math is probably higher than this. Not good. I don't know if that's good or bad for us, but he's not good. Doesn't have a good math. What? Doesn't have a good reputation. He's a young guy that doesn't know he's a dollar, two dollar poker player that's got some websites out there. He's, it's called something EV, and uh, he even says, I'm getting out of poker, I'm going to try my hand at something else. And he's, uh, what I'm worried about with the guy is that, well, you, you know. That he tries to get a reputation and try and. Well, I'm not going that far. I'm just saying that, you know, he was. One thing of Donnie that's good is he said, I used to be this type player, and then I figured out heads up and shorthanded, you just kind of play fast and aggressive. Right. So, so anyway, so then we're going send all these play sessions down. back to this math guy, having, having run both sets, and hopefully say, yeah, yeah. yeah. this, what the expected value of the you know, these are in the round of possibilities, these things are the value of the well, then, then the business, business information. when they go to the KGC and literally lays right. out, okay, right. let's talk about what we know, what we don't know, what we've done, our analysis, this is what we are going to do. Well, obviously, it's not Joe Kirk because he's got to go in there and sit there. How did they pick this guy? I don't know. What else is for? I think what it was is the Shackleford turned on the job. The guy from uh, Blackjack's site, uh, Wizard of Oz, he turned on the job. very good friend, John Warhol. The only two books you've ever wrote with for us. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's kind of the process. Got it. And, and hopefully those things help create one of the stories. We think we want some sort of job out of this. So. You know, what's the job from who? After this, you know, help us with our security and stuff. And who does? This mathematician. Tell us the super EV or whatever they're going to say. You have a job with who? With continued work from us, from the site. So that's helpful. So who's hiring him? KG? So you're here, we're hiring it, but we got KGC's approval on him. Oh, so you're hiring him? Yeah, the business is hiring Business is hiring Okay, him. I was confused. But KGC, KGC, is, KGC has insisted on reviewing and approving. So okay. they reviewed and approved this guy. I'm sure it'll do the same with McAvoy. But I'm sure the resume is just sitting on the one of their desks. That's why they wanted the resume, to get KGC. So is this kid going to come down there to do it, or is he going to go home? I think he's going to do the math guy? Yeah. There, there's something in strict down stuff with no player names in it, and just, and then what they'll do is they'll regroup and just say, run that group and run this group, and he's not supposed to be doing it hand by hand, looking at players and all that stuff. He's just supposed to be. Then I mean, if he does, it's my understanding that all the names are getting stripped out, so all he's going to know is player one, player two. They make the mistake of some player names and hand history, so they're going to fuck up big time. Yeah. Who's you, doing this? you got to make sure it's like that. Oh, he knows. There is always the risk. Why don't we just finish up here? Why don't we go back to that? Okay, yes. Thanks, Dan. We'll get through this. Thank you, Dan. Enjoy. Are you driving back tonight?
I never thought I'd be thankful that uh, the capital hasn't distributed us our money yet, but this is the reason. Hasn't paid us any of this money. The good thing is capital has to be Thank <laughs> you. 